Good morning, my villains. Ahem, 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 hi. I, I, I brought a flower for you. Oh my god, hi guys! After going on break and being stuck as a... I mean, yeah, I guess he's okay. <laughs> For like four days. I'm Baku! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's been a while, so, so I, th I think I should do it. It's just in case people forgot. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, I've been gone, so people might have already forgotten me. So, you know... <clears throat> Hi, my name is Ver Vermillion, but you can call me Kaicho. You like what I did here? I, I kind of like, you know, did a little like, instead of kaicho, I was just like, kaicho. Yeah, you like that? Kaicho. <laughs> How is everyone? I know it's been a long, long time. Um, my, I had a great break. I had a great trip. I want to talk all about it with you guys. But more importantly, I want to hear about you guys. It's been, who says it sounded like a sneeze, huh? You know what? You're, 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 you're,
I'm back and you guys are already bullying me. I see how it is. I, I just came back and you guys are already bullying me. <laughs> maybe, maybe you do have a point. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, still gold rank and master duel. I'm glad that you're even playing the game, honestly. <laughs> it's too fun not to. You guys, guys, you guys should find. Yeah, y'all should find a different hobby instead. Instead of boom, that's that's our love language. I guess if that's the case, it's fine. Um, I've been great. I uh, so as you saw on my Instagram, I traveled to Mexico. Uh, had a great, great time there. Had a lot of food. I want to talk about it a lot more. Uh, thank you so much for the warm welcome, though. I I like it. I, I haven't seen chat move up so quickly in a long, long time. I love it when you guys are excited about me. Oh, it's your first super too. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, I'll make sure to read all of it. Don't worry. Thank you so much for the warm, warm welcome. This is wow. That's a lot of. That's a lot of. Super, but uh, calm down. I also left my toxic job for five years just a few days ago. Congratulations! Toxic job. Pshaw, what the hell is that? Thank you for the stream labs as well. Make sure to read everything, guys. But you gotta thank you so much. But if you guys send it too much, I'll have to stay here forever, which is, you know. Uh, well, I guess that's a good thing, maybe. <laughs> um, I missed you guys so much too. Um when it comes to not streaming, honestly, when it comes to not streaming, I don't think I could really completely express how empty it is sometimes without having you guys and talking with you guys. Um, trips are fine. I had a great time in Mexico. And then, you know, not streaming is okay too. It's nice to, you know, rest and focus on schoolwork because what really is rest when you have school? Um, but because for me, it's like a little different. Like other people might be able to get rest while on break. For me, I'm always studying, right? My quote unquote break is just me focusing and getting other things done. Um, my homework, my essays, I have like two big essays due and I had like another essay due and I have a presentation due and I have like a, I have an exam next week. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Uh, <laughs> uh, so for me, that that's, that's, that's my quote unquote rest, right? Um, and because of that, I think I can confidently say that I, maybe compared to maybe other people, not just livers, but streamers in general, miss my fan a little more. <laughs> so every time I'm grinding away in a classroom, just like, man, like listening to this professor's boring lecture, trying to take notes, trying to work on my stuff, I just feel like, man, man, I wish, you know, I wish I was streaming instead. I wish I was playing around with you guys. But now I miss Dongwook a little bit. You know, never mind. I take back everything I just said. Nah, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very Dongwook, huh? You know what? Honestly, it was it was actually really funny. It was really, really funny. Um, I saw... <laughs> April Fool's, I was like, ah, I don't know if I could stream today. Uh, I, I think I'll just uh, maybe may change my uh, play around with Twitter a bit. And then, so I changed it to very dumb woke because, you know, I thought it would be funny. I, everyone else was doing it on Twitter. So I was like, I guess I'll join in. Um, and then... <laughs> And then, and then I went to uh, I I went I went to uh, the um, the Niji Sanji Discord and I checked it out. <laughs> Uki was like, "Hey guys, um, is it okay if we change our faces to a celebrity? Like, would we get bonged for that?" And people are like, "Oh, you know, maybe as long as you like cover up the eye, you know, make sure you make it a little censored." I'm like, "Oh fuck." <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm already very dumb look <laughs> and I can't really switch for another like three four days <laughs> uh oh <laughs> uh oh uh so it's a little it's a little nerve-wracking but uh I, I I think it turned out fine right G guys G guys right 
I didn't get bonged for it, and as far as I know, uh, Mr. Lee Dong Wook, the real one, didn't actually come and uh, sue me. Be like, this, this, this red-headed VTuber thinks he could be me, the masterful celebrity actor genius handsomeness combined. Lee Dong Wook, ha! He must be sued and sent to Korean court. I'm like, damn. It's all right. He's so fucking right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Though, no, if I'm if I'm completely honest, um, I'm I'm, I'm a little hotter. <laughs> As an anime 2D boy, you know, like I I, I don't dare, you know, Mister, you don't look like 180 centimeters. Please don't beat me up. Oh my god. The man has been both a grim reaper as well as a as like a freaking I think he was even like a crazy man at some point like a mass like a like a like a serial killer and he now now he's also like a he, he's also like a nine tail fox and things like that so like I, I'm pr probably out of my league <laughs> all I got is a little I, I, I got like you know spin a little I, I, I'm basically like a glorified yo-yo artist, except I could do it with your soul. And be like, ooh, look at this. It's a... It moves. <laughs> uh, you, you wanna... I, I could tell you a fortune? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know could literally look down on you? You know what? You're right. <laughs> I, I know what I'm beat. I know what I'm beat. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for the stream labs. Oh my god, what a warm warm welcome. I, I think I think I made enough today. I guess I, I guess uh, I'll call it a day. See ya. Mmm. Yep, that, that was it. Thank, that was, I, I got what I needed. That's why I came back. I got the money. I, I'm done. I'm so, <laughs> um but thank you so much. I'm I'm also scared that some of the supas might disappear. So let me just quickly read few through like at least half of them. Uh, Puteri sends welcome back, EP. Thank you so so much for the warm welcome back. Rona sends welcome back, Kaijo. Pogusi pogusi Oh, speaking of Korean stuff, um, I got some exciting news. Uh, I find I finally <laughs> don't wonder why we choose don't look over you. Damn, you're right. Um, I talked to a manager about this, and I really really want this to happen. Um, I have another Korean stream coming up next. Monday? Monday? <laughs> um, and my, my concern was when I speak in Korean, uh, nobody can understand me. Obviously, Korean speakers can, but most people cannot. And I didn't like that. And I love the fact, uh, I think it's super cute and it's super endearing that you guys try to learn Korean for me. Um, and, um, well, first of all, that's, that's, that's really sweet of you. I think that's the most adorable thing you guys can do. <laughs> but, uh, I don't think that's your, that's, that's not your, you know, responsibility, if that makes sense. Uh, so I finally got a manager and I think, I think we found a trans, I haven't tested it out yet, but I think we found an on screen translator that I can use, which hopefully will work in which case if i speak in korean it will show up in english and maybe that would help out a little yeah exactly i uh i can't put like around 80 percent of your smi gongwagesim i could 공부하는 건 너무 좋은데 그래도 그 instead of studying i hope you guys could just enjoy it you know i mean streams about enjoying it not about <laughs> not about studying You're literally rapping in Korean? I mean... Ah. I don't get it what it'd be. Well, I mean, basically, when I do Korean streams, because I used to do Korean streams on Twitch, and I wouldn't like really like use too many Korean streams on my YouTube, because my worry was it would confuse my viewers. Um, people would be like, oh, it's another Korean stream. Well, I'm not going to watch that, um, because I only speak English. Um, I, I mean, I, I want to make sure I, I mix it up properly. Uh, and still be able to reach out to my English speaking audience or my non Korean speaking audience, like my Spanish audience, my Japanese audience, uh, and so on and so forth, my Chinese speaking audience, uh, while I do Korean streams. Because I love collabing with my KR, 
uh, 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 senpais, and I love you know, uh, you know, doing Korean streams. But I want you guys to understand. <laughs> and I always felt bad about. I, I I always felt bad about that. That that's actually the reason why I didn't have my POV for a uh, lethal company this this week, um, because man, I just felt bad. Mm. So, I'm gonna be testing it over the weekend. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, this translator works well. Um, I also know that some people say I speak too quickly in Korean. Maybe the translator won't be able to catch, catch that. So, I'm gonna try to speak slowly. 안녕하세요, 여러분. 제 이름은 페르 퍼밀리온입니다. Hi. It'd be funny if the translator says the wrong thing just to help troll Kaicho. That was actually, it is funny, and I think it's kind of funny too, but it was actually the worry. That was, that was the main worry behind translators. That's why it took so long, because I've been working on this for about like a month, two months. I've been asking about it and trying to, I found out some of my options. And the biggest issue was, um, let's say I spoke, like it's the opposite really. Let's say I spoke something in English, right? Uh, and then I translated it into Japanese. Japanese maybe says something really bad in Japan, like a really bad word. Then I'll be on flames and it'll be over. My my entire house, my entire penthouse would literally burn down. <laughs> <laughs> it's content? No, absolutely. But like I feel like English speaking communities do have uh tend to have less strictness compared to some other uh, communities. Um so it's always gotta be important to be careful. Mm. So that's why that that's why having been said, I think it's safe if I do Korean to English because first of all, uh, how bad could it be in English? Okay, I just thought of something, and I really really hope this won't be the case. I'm gonna let's see if we could add like blacklist words there, because. <laughs> Because ah uh, Nam Siunim Nam Siunim perfect timing because uh, Siunim did this to uh did, did this on stream before, um. We were playing uh we we're playing a uh, don't talk, don't talk nobody explodes wait no talk and nobody explodes keep talking and nobody explodes, um, where we said uh you right you, um I'm just gonna say it it's in Korean it's a Korean word there's there's various languages in this world but it basically sounds, niga uh, kudesimyan. And I'm just worried. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, let's wait. Like, I'm surely the translator won't do that, you know? Like, surely. Surely. Hmm. <laughs> no, but, um. Cause, Cause, I bring this up because I remember I said that I think in in a stream once I said that I was like, ah, 네가 그랬으면 안 되지. 아, 네가 그러면 되잖아. And I think someone on Twitter was like, is nobody gonna talk about how Vare said the N word? And I'm like, holy shit. Scratch his head. Did I say the end? Like I was actually like thinking through, like what? 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 How did this? What? <laughs> and then I thought about it. I was like, oh, it's probably because of the Korean. And I was like, damn. So, you know, it's always important to be careful. It's always important to be careful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But anyway, that aside, hopefully, it should all be good. So I'm going to be testing it out thoroughly. Basically, during the weekend, I'll just be sitting here just saying the word. Repeated, like, repetitively. Repeatedly. Just to see if, if any mistakes could possibly happen. Twitter just being Twitter, though? Yeah. English isn't the only language I remember everyone. Yeah, no, exactly. Absolutely. I think I think that's I think I think that could I, I, I yeah. I think many people could do well by knowing that fact. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking at you. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't don't worry. You guys don't have to warn anyone. Um that's me and my mods uh, at work anyway. You guys are here to enjoy. Speaking of enjoying, um, I went to Mexico. Oh, thank you so much for the Vikings, Sungo. Thank you, thank you. Rawr, thank you, thank you. Um, I went on, a, I think it was a five-day trip, essentially. And... Let 
Where should I begin? I I I I would be down to tell you just to the just the entire thing. But I also kind of want Rona. Thank you so much for the fire. Ah, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'd be down to talk about the entire thing, but I also kind of want to just like hmm, talk about funny stuff. I think I wrote a note somewhere. Do you make a JP lesson? Oh, you know, I did see some of my senpais use a new program, so I might do the JP lesson thing now because uh, the other one I used was fine, but it was a little confusing to navigate. So maybe um, the other one will be a little easier to use. Thank you, thank you so much for the five. Thank you, thank you. Um. Whoa. Wait one sec. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay. Yeah, um, if, if I was not okay, I'll let you guys know later. Uh, but I, I think, I think, I think, I think everything is fine. Yes. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, thank you so much for the fight. Thank you, thank you. Rawr. I like your new profile picture, by the way. It's very cute. It's like it's like a little cat girl. Very cute. What happened? No, it's fine. It's fine. I thought I thought I heard something, but I think I think it's all good. No, no, no. It's not. It's like I I I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. <clears throat> anyway, so um, sorry about that. Let me talk about Mexico. I think I actually wrote notes actually. Because I wanted to talk about this, I was guys. Kyo, yeah, thank you so much for the five. Thank you, thank you. Arr, thank you, thank you. Try, thank you so much for the five. Thank you, thank you. Arr, thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see. I went to the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Here's, here's my first story. Here's my first story. Here's my first story. I thought I thought this was crazy. Okay, so. I had a great babe. Thank you so much, sweet story. So for me, when I went to Mexico, I wanted to try street food because I love fruits. Guys, I love fruit. I, 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 I am a connoisseur of fruit. I like sweet fruit. That's, that's where I, that's what I love. No worries, Annie. Thank you. Thank you for remembering me. Dude, I love sweet. I love sweet fruit. Mangoes, coconuts. I wanted to try those. Ro, thank you so much for the vibe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I didn't, sh I, I checked my doors. Don't worry. Uh, I love mangoes. I love coconuts because my god, um, mangoes are so tasty. Especially like I always had this imagination that like in warmer areas, because Mexico is hot. Oh my god, it's like that's so always like sweltering. I had a, I had like I I was itchy. I think I had sunburns everywhere, but that's a different story. Um, so I always told my friends, I was like, hey, you know, I really want to try out street food mango. I want street food mango. I want street food coconuts. I walked out, and then I saw one of those, uh, well, not food trucks, it's like, what do you call it, like those stalls, I guess? They had one of those stalls, and then they were selling coconuts. They had a coconut, and then basically what they did, it was I thought it was really cool. Uh, they cut it in half. Um, well, before they cut it in half, they kind of poke a hole in it. They take out all the, uh, the liquid into a cup, that that would be the coconut juice. Cut it in half, and they shave off the skin, and then the the meat inside the coconut meat. I don't know, is that what you call it? coconut meat? You, you they 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 give you the coconut meat. They throw a little chili on it. And it's super cool. So I was like, yes, please, I want one. It was about four U.S. dollars, I guess, like four Canadian dollars. Um, a little more than Canadian dollars. Um, it was like what two? How much was that exactly? 
like 30 pesos 30 pesos i think yeah it was it was 30 30 mexican pesos which later on i heard was actually a lot expensive but yeah, i don't know that that's i, I think it's fine um and i was excited because because you know, i was just sitting there and then we were doing the whole thing and it's, the gluck 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 takes out the juice and then it cuts out the meats and then it gives it another bag. I was like super cool. And then I got the liquid and I was like, hmm. Why is it bubbly? You're seeing other mangoes, Lamau. <laughs> I was like, huh, why is this? People are like, fresh coconut is a little fizzy. Okay, so. I looked at it and I was like, hmm. It's also like not clear because most coconut juice I had was like clear. But this was kind of like, it was a little, you could still see food, but it was a little foggy, right? So I was like, sparkling coconut? <laughs> Fizzy coconut juice? Ah, Sasuga, Mexico. Sasuga, <laughs> ah, Mexico technology. They add in the fizz in the coconuts. Damn. Um, can you be mine? I unfortunately am everyone's. I'm, I'm very, I'm very shareable. So yeah, I was like sparkling coconut juice. I was like, huh. I took a sip. It didn't taste great. <laughs> okay, to be fair, I don't think it was completely spoiled. Uh, I think I think it, it literally tasted like sparkling coconut water. Like it would it would be exactly how you imagine if you added in carbonated like fizz into coconut juice, pretty much. It was like a little less sweet too, and it was more carbonated. I don't like carbonated water. Sparkling water tastes like poop to me. I'm not gonna lie. Is that okay to eat? So what I did was, um, it was still like what four or five bucks for me. That's a lot of money. I'm poor. So I went on Google. <laughs> I went on ChatGPT. No, no, no. Here, 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 here's the line of what happened. I first of all took a photo and then I sent it to my friends. My friends was like. What am I looking at? Is it Sprite? I'm like, no, it's coconut water. I'm like, oh, well, well, I mean, does it does it taste bad? I'm like, well, it doesn't taste bad. It tastes a little fizzy. It should be fine. I'm like, okay, we got one point for drinking the coconut water. Number two, I uploaded it on my Instagram, doing a yes or no poll. Should I drink or should I not? Uh, about about 10 minutes later, it was 50-50. 50-50. Yes, no, 50-50. All right, we got, we, got, we, got, we got a battle going on here. We're not sure. So I go on and go to Google. I've been like, okay, Google. I'm like, Bim, uh, yes, sir, what's up? I've been like, hey, I want, I was, uh, that you do is this fizzy coconut water, little sunsy fruit. Like, what do I do here? I'm like, Veva I don't know what to, I to tell this to you. It's a, it's a, it's uh, I mean, it, it, when it becomes spoiled, uh, it becomes more uh, foggy. You cannot see, and then the the the, the fizz is probably because you went uh, some bacteria went inside, uh, ate up the sugar, and then uh, pooped out some carbon, and uh, it's uh, probably not good for it. it. Depends on what the bacteria is. I'm like, oh, Google, you always know the right answers, uh, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and ask someone a lot smarter than you, um, ChatGPT. I'm gonna ChatGPT. <laughs> <laughs> ChatGPT, what do I do if I get the, the, this? The, my drink is a fizzy and a lot of little see through. And be like, oh, ver vermilion. As an AI, I know all the answers. And that drink will kill you. And I'm like, ChatGPT, but you sure about that? Listen, I'm gonna go talk to my mods for a bit. Uh, I'll be right back. Go to my mods. Hey, mods! Do you see this photo? Is this okay? And they're like, oh my god, that looks uh not okay. I'm like, okay, mods, but you know nothing. Let me go back to shit. So I was literally standing. I literally stood there in the sun for about 20 minutes with this fizzy drink in hand. And I was in front of the coconut stand too. I was literally asking anyone and everyone I can. I was this close to asking my parents. They were like, mom and dad, what the hell is this? No. Um... I think ultimately the answer was, uh, if I drink it, I'll die. 
<laughs> uh, so I didn't drink it. It was a shame because the coconut meat also tasted. I don't know. I n I never really like coconut meats, but it was it was very meaty. I don't know if that was a good thing or not. I th I think it was supposed to be soft, but mine was meaty. So I was like, hmm. if you drink it, you will see Jesus. Yeah, it's nice actually. It's not it's not a bad trait, you. So yeah, that was it. It seemed the verdict was to not... Yeah, I mean... I think the only one that really said yes was my wallet. My wallet was like, no, you, know, you, you, think, you think those 300 pesos will come back? Oh, not 300, it was like 30. You think those 30 pesos will come back? I'm like, shit, you're right. You're so right. So that was my coconut water story. Um, but otherwise, the food was great. Uh, when it comes to tacos, you know, I tried so, so many tacos. Like, <laughs> so many tacos. Um, it was amazing. I tried, um, from, from the quote-unquote lower ends, with just like, you know, beef slash pork slash pork skin, I think, I think is what they're called. I'm actually not sure. And, you, you, and then they give you like three different sauces. They have like, <laughs> it's actually funny. They give you three different sauces. They give you low spicy sauce mid spicy sauce and very spicy sauce there's no non-spicy sauce <laughs> and then I, I, I tried a little of each they're all very tasty the high spicy sauce actually burnt my mouth but it was so so addicting when i try asking for a new one or refund the coconut do you do i look like an extrovert to you do I look like a non-INFP to you? Like, what the hell? <laughs> um, the spicy sauces are very tasty. I, I, th I think... I, I would dare say Mexican sauces and Korean sauces like have like a very similar like... tanginess to it. They're both... They both make me happy in a, in a very similar way. If that makes sense. Um, I ate it. It was amazing. Very good. And then I went on to uh, quote-unquote higher ends. Um, I, I went to this restaurant and they gave us snow crab tacos. It was so good. It was so, so good. It was basically hard tacos and they had like wet snow crab on it. And I ate it and I cried. I was like, this is the best day of my life. It was so good. So, so good. So, so good. Um, speaking of though, uh, I was, I also want to say, it's probably my first time I ever actually really went to a high-end restaurant like that. Um, like, I think like when I was younger, I might've, but like, you know, nowadays it's really hard for me to go to high-end restaurants because money. Um, but the reason I was able to enjoy my trip to Mexico and also get really good food, uh, was of you guys. That's thanks to you guys. So, um, thank you so much for allowing me to treat myself. Uh, you guys basically treated me. So thank you. It's, it's, it's very kind. And so I, I just wanted to point out that uh, if ever, just, just make sure you remember that because you guys literally fed me. <laughs> In fact, you guys are literally the reason why I'm still alive, like literally, so thank you. Um, oh yeah, Zoe Carp Tacos. Try it out if you ever can. It's very good. What other stories do I have? <clears throat> I also want this really cool thing. Um, let me see. Uh, what did I say? Sorry. Yeah, no, um, what the hell? I close my eyes and I open them and then I see, I see, I see that Christmas arrived early. Curious about the library? Oh, let me talk about the library then. Um, but before that, little Cecilia, thank you so much for the 50. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's been a while since I've done my RARs. Let me see if I could like try to do it again. 
No, that's not that's not how you do it. I got I gotta get the right tone. <laughs> no, but let's say thank you so much for the fifty. Thank you, thank you. That's it's a lot. That's a lot of money, as we all know. That is a lot of money. Can I roll my tongue? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but thank you so much, Lucy. Thank you, thank you. That's a lot of money. Thank you, thank you so much for the gifts, and thank you so much for bringing Christmas so so early. Thank you, thank you, sweet Tori and you may thank you so much for the ones as well. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Um. That just sounds like Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. No, that's not. I don't know. That was not. That was. Sharky, shark, rock, shark, rocky. Roy, thank you so much for the five. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's Donald. No. 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 You know what? If you want a different voice acting, please go check out Vox Akuma. He is quite literally the voice demon. Me, I'm just a silly little human. <laughs> anyway, it's about the library. Uh, I didn't know about it. My friend did. Um, apparently on Instagram, there's a lot of people taking photos of the library. And when I first saw the library, I thought it was, um, like, I, I I thought it was I thought the entire library was about to transform. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, like, if you guys do have the chance, maybe go check out my Instagram if you have no idea what I'm talking about, but the library actually looks like it's going to transform. <laughs> <laughs> like, I went in, it's, I don't, I, I didn't go up there because I was a little scared. I'm not sure about the practicality of it, but basically, the book's kind of, like, everything, all those little squares, boxes, is all, is all, um, Bookshelves, they're kind of all like... They're all like... Protruded out in a way. It's 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 weird. It's really hard to explain. Um, It's all protruded out and basically you kind of like... Walk to the edge of... The... I, I can't really... I'm not very good at explaining things. <laughs> I'm clear. Mm. It's very pretty. <laughs> it was very pretty. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. <clears throat> One of the books is going to lead to a secret chamber, honestly. I, I don't know if the, the bookshelves actually move around, but that's not the only thing though. If you actually look at what the library holds, like there's like, there was like this really big whale, like a, like a bone of a whale structure, I think. Thank you so much for the one melody. Like just, just this one bone, like it was basically a skinless whale bone kind of like just floating in the middle of the library. It was very cool. I don't think it was a real bone, by the way. I think I'm pretty sure it was like, like a fake kind of art thing. It was very cool looking. It looks like Interstellar. Honestly, yeah. Um, it, it was a sight to behold. Honestly, it was very impressive. I, 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 I thought it was super, super cool. Kaki, thank you so much for the one. Thank you, thank you. Pretty sure, I mean, because I don't know if whales have that much bone. I don't, you, you'll, you have to see it to believe it, honestly. But it's really cool. If you guys ever go to Mexico, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. See, you'll be like, oh my god. That's what that stupid red human said, you know, it's that, it's that, it's that, it's that whale bone thing. I see it now. Oh my god. Beauty and the Beast. I... Oh, I could see that. I see what you mean now. I hope I can visit there. No, seriously, it's, it's great. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. I also went to this thing, so I was on a... 
I think I think it was on Twitter or somewhere. I forget where I posted it, but I was basically on like on a, an eight hour bus ride. So specifically, that was not quite true. It was a four hour bus ride, four to five hour bus ride to, and then a four to five r- bus ride back. I was in Mexico City, uh, and we decided it would be fun to go to. I forget what it's called. It was basically like this swimming pool resorts, not really place in Mexico. Um, it had caves. It was like natural springs, sort of, not really. Uh, I wish I knew the name, but listen, I'm so dumb. Th- does anyone know what I'm talking about? It's, it's like, I took a photo of it, and it's basically like, um, they have like little pools. They have like little pools everywhere. Um, and the waters, I think, came from a mountain or something. Like, literally, it was kind of cool. You pass by, and then you see a mountain waterfall just sp- like, just spew water down. And they fill up the waters uh, it was so so cool um, i don't know if it's completely natural because it kind of tasted a little chlorine-y <laughs> um, i guess that's just for safety um and it was it was it was very real. yeah no absolutely the pool mountain exactly um the only thing is that that so that was fun you know it was it was obviously very warm um there's also this really cool thing you could go in a cave um it was completely dark but like you could also like sort of see like people bring their phones in and then they had the flashlights on and then you could see the inside of a cave. It was super scary, but super cool. Spelunking like sounds awesome. Um, there was also like a river where it kind of basically burned off my face because I was stupid. Uh, but you know, yes, Tolantongo, exactly. There we go. It was Tolantongo, exactly, exactly. It is all natural. It tasted kind of corny. It was crazy. But yeah, I guess so. Tolantongo, yeah. Natural waters, um, they basically, I think people just kind of carved out maybe like a little um, pool area for people to just kind of dip, dip their, dip their uh, bodies in. Very warm, very cool. Um, it, was, it was very nice. Um, people are wearing swimsuits, so obviously I wore mine. I was a little, little uh, wary of my little, little, little fat, but a little um, belly fat, but you know, it is what it is. Um, meanwhile, Mexicans are very hot, so I was very happy to see. My eyes were happy. Um, <clears throat> but I think though, I think, I think the real memorable part for me was the four hour bus ride and then the four hour bus ride back. Um, so I went on a tour. So it, it was, and the tour was, I guess, relatively cheap. We didn't have a bus. We had like a little van. And I guess they decided to just book it completely because every seat was full. And that's normally fine. Now, I want to say this in the most respectful way possible. The lady that sat next to me was, um, I, I'm a small dude. Listen, I'm a small guy. I, 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 I'm pretty thin. I'm, I'm also not that tall, unfortunately. Um... So I usually sit pretty comfortably on the seats. And the lady that's sat next to me, um, yeah, no disrespect, like she's a beautiful woman. Um, but she she was a little bigger, right? Basically, I had half of my seat. <laughs> Long story short, <laughs> for four hours, <laughs> and. How should I say this? Like, listen, when your butt is quite literally between a seat, um, it does not feel comfortable. <laughs> I was, the, to my left was the wall of the car, and to my right was, I'm just gonna say it, a very big butt. <laughs> and I was squeezed between the wall and the big butt. And I was, I was, <laughs> my, my, my butt was screaming for air, not gonna lie. I was in so, so much pain. I was in so, so much pain for four or five hours. I thought it was gonna be like three hours, but no, apparently there was somehow traffic in like the middle of the morning and I was like five hours and my butt hurt so much. <laughs> no, because, because I'm not even kidding. My butt actually felt flatter. <laughs> Which is a problem because I don't even have cake and it just felt like less cake. <laughs> uh, and I, I, just, I mean, what can I be? I'd be like, um, ma'am, um, respectfully, can you, um, 
um, um, um, um, um, move your butt, please. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't, I can't be like, ma'am, ma'am, your, your thighs are too thunder thick. So can you please uh, move them a little to the right, please? I can't do that. No, I can't do that either. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like in my little corner, like, oh, oh. <laughs> um, she was, tr she, she was clearly aware of it and she was trying to be nice because sometimes I would have to stand up a little, tries to like shake my booty a little because it hurts so much. And she'd be like, oh, it looks like she, she's a little uncomfortable. So she would move us slightly to the right. It was very nice. It didn't do much, but <laughs> it's, it's the, it's the, it's the. It's the thought that counts. <clears throat> Why not just say, ma'am, can you move a bit? The thing is... Listen. If it was anyone... It, listen, like, listen. I would, I would have said it. But there are physical limitations to what the body can do. I, got, I, would, I couldn't blame her. The seats were too small, honestly. Honestly, the seats were just too small. Like, even if I told her to, like... Like, it, like, literally, this is how I would imagine the conversation would go. It would be like, Hey, ma'am, can you, can you move to the right a little? She'd be like, How? Like, you're, you're right. <laughs> you're, you're, you're so right. No, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm the, I'm the doofus. I, I, I apologize. I, that, that was my bad. I'm sorry. I'm just going to go to my corner. I'm just, you're so, you're so true. You're so true. Holy shit. Um... <clears throat> But uh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then all Chris Adams after asking. That, that's my worst fear. Um, that, that was honestly the more memorable part than the pool. I'm not going to lie. The, the pain on the bus. And it reminded me, I guess I need to make more money so I could actually get on a tour bus instead of a van. You know, next time. This is why you got to make money. Good experience? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was. It was. It was an experience. Um, I always imagined being squeezed by uh, butts would be a good way to die, but apparently not. I have a different dream now. I want to die peacefully on my deathbed. Thank you very much. <clears throat> You know, like all those memes about like, oh, death my snoo snoo is, is like the best way to die. Mm. 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 <laughs> Big fight save lives. I will say if I've gone into a car crash, I think I would have been fine. What else happened? Let me see. Oh. Here's another one. Um, it's It's a little, it's a little silly. But uh, I, I, Uber, I, I usually rode around. Thank you so much for the stream labs. I usually rode around um, Uber in uh, Mexico City because it's so cheap. Like 20 minute, 30 minute ride is about like four bucks USD. I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing, right? Uh, <laughs> you got a death by sparkling coconut get water, but death by cake. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so I decided I wanted to try. I want, I want the authentic Mexican experience. I wanted to try... Um, um, uh, a public transit. Now I was too scared about the subway because it was really hard to find where the subway wa was for the first place. And also the subway itself looked very, I'm going to be honest, like dark. <laughs> it looked a little damp. <laughs> not, not that, not that, no, I mean, I know many other places where the subways are completely disgusting. And I don't know, Mexicans, Mexican subways might not be, but um, it looks, it didn't look incredibly inviting is all i'm gonna say so i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and try um very i was laughing so hard right now because my father asked me for my boyfriend unironically what did you say no he's my oshi yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, so I was like, instead of subway, I want to try taking a bus because the buses looks fine. Um, they act actually really cool. They they have like a really cool big bus station. Um, they have the machines in there where you could buy a bus. I, I have it right now. Maybe I'll upload it later. 
But the bus cards look really pretty. They have like this little um like design. It's all green, pink, purple, orange, blue at the same time. Very cute. Um I bought one. And I was like, this is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and ride a bus. It's gonna be my first Mexican experience. Went in. Uh, there were seats. I was like, yeah, well, it was like nine stops away. So I, was like, I, I, I sat down on a seat. And then the next stop, like about 20, 30 people just entered the bus. I guess it was like a pretty busy stop. Um, and I was sitting down and I tried to mind my own business. But I don't know if this is normal, but like I was trying to mind my own business. But then a guy just kind of came in um, and he, he held, the, uh, held the, the, the handrails on the top. And I don't know if it was just designed that way, but the handrail was like basically right above me. So the guy was standing like right above, like not in front of me. He was right above me. He was like, like, oh man, I, I, I have to draw this. This isn't like, I was like, I, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm usually very well intimidated by like just bigger people, but this, this was here. So let's say this was me, right? Let's say, let's say, let's say I was me sitting right here. Like this, this is kind of like, this is like the front seating. This is me. I'm like here, right? Hi, that's me. That's me, Mr. Ver Vermillion, right? I <laughs> was like. <laughs> it was like this. Oh God. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's. <laughs> should I move? <laughs> Would you like to sit, uh, sir? <laughs> Would you like to sit, sir? Would you would you like the seats? Uh, but like, is that is that what is this like a way of you saying, hey, I'll give you like go, 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 give it to the give it to the older worker? I'm like, all right. Um, but then I, if that was it, I would have ignored it because you know what? I'm used to I'm used to public transit. You know what? I want to sit. This is my rightful duty to sit, right? Was he watching your phone? Well, no. This was worse. Just debatably worse, right? Um. He was, he was snacking on potato chips. <laughs> he was, he was snacking on potato chips, right? Nom, 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 nom. Um, which was first of all, ASMR material. <laughs> like, like I was literally sitting down and I didn't know what was happening. I was trying to mind my own business, I was looking forward. I think I didn't have internet or something. I think I might've used all of my data. So I was just looking forward. And to my right, I just heard, <laughs> I'm like, huh? <laughs> is this what Malakoi ASMR is like? What the hell? <laughs> I looked to the left or the right, I forget what it was, and uh, I saw the man eating potato chips. It was like spicy potato chips too. And I, I was this close to asking for one because it kind of looked tasty, but that, that was beside the point. And then I looked down. My shoes are relatively new. I like my shoes. <laughs> Crumbs were just <laughs> just sprinkling crumbs. I, I moved my feet away, and then he came closer. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like it was a very intimate experience. Um, something I don't think I would have, uh, you know, particularly enjoyed ever again um i think when it was my stop i i just i took my stuff and quickly left and he sat down on the chair so clearly he wanted the chair so either very passive aggressive about it or not so it was, it was wild it was insane uh yeah it was fun good stuff good stuff team great stuff it was it was i so i don't i think that was my last experience of public transport <laughs> intimate it was a little more intimate than i ever hoped is is all i would say but listen, um, I also went to really cool places. For instance, I went to, I think, apparently like the the world's top 11 bar or something. I forget what it's called. It was like this door that had like the, like a number 13 or something on it. Um, really cool. Um, 
let me rephrase that a little. So you know how I said, I said uh, you might have seen that on, on, the, on the photo I sent on Instagram. There was a little bar and the little, little glasses, and we we went there together. It was really cool. Their appetizer was um. So before we we ordered the drinks and they give you like a little like you know snacky to eat while drinking and I was like oh yes, uh here is our nuts. I'm like oh that's cool. I like nuts. And nuts with walnuts. Oh that's awesome. You know like you know peanuts. Oh that's cool. Uh, and grasshoppers. I'm like that's uh. <laughs> I, well, no, cr it's probably crickets. Pro crickets is probably the right way to say it. Um, I was literally like, <laughs> I was literally like, oh yeah, it's, oh nuts, yeah, good, good. It's good for my cholesterol. Okay, all right, all right. Peanuts, okay, okay. All right, almonds, okay, 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 okay. okay. Crickets, coke, what? <laughs> is it tasty? I did not dare. I did not dare. I did not dare. I, I'm sorry. I did not dare to even try that. That was a little too. That was above my. Hey, great. Um, they're actually kind of taste. I'm sure it is. Coward. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know what? Literally, it's fine. Literally, it's fine. I I don't even care, man. I I don't. You could you could you could say whatever you want. I am not eating bugs. Um, bugs. Man, it's just. Just. Like I I I even tried chicken feet. You know. That was that was my big step forward. I tried chicken feet. I even tried frog. I tried, I tried what like, you know, duck liver. I tried like, which which I I know I know it sounds sounds cannibalistic, but you know, shut up. And I've I've done intestines too, absolutely. But bugs is bugs is where I draw the line. Bugs is like nah, that's where I draw the line. No bugs, no bugs, no bugs. Um, that's just terrifying to me. That is that. Chicken feet, and it tastes like chicken. <laughs> I will say though, if you ever do try chicken feet, I would recommend trying to peel it off a little and then eat it instead of like, or like peel off the skin and peel off the meats and eat that meat instead of actually like sucking it off the feet because it feels so wrong. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> God, God, it feels so like you know the how it's like texture too. It's it's literally how you would imagine it. It's just ah, ah. Is it tasty? Sure, but I would rather eat just plain old chicken, buddy. Well, why would I eat chicken feet when it could get like good old galbi? I don't know, man. Chikaronis, uh, is it is that the thing? Is that the pigskin thing? Cause I think they had that in the tacos. Sucking feet, that's crazy. Don't make it weird. Don't make it weird. I'm actually eating pig brain. I think I might have tried monkey brain at some points. I don't think I ever tried pig brain now. Um, I've tried I've tried weird things. I went and visited Korea. I think I did try Bundegi once, which is like silkworm. It actually tasted fine. It actually tasted kind of like. Yeah, no, silkworm is an insect. I think that was like my first and last insect experience ever. It was. It was like more like silkworm larva though, or something. I I don't know. So it was it was weird. Um No, it is not no, it is an insect. You're right. No, it is. It is. It is. But I think I think it, but it tasted fine. It was okay. But like everything else was like nah. Everything. Nah. Surrender the tagging day. Come to sale. Have you eaten anything that's still alive? The only thing, the only thing I've eaten that was quote unquote alive was not even actually alive. Um, it was a. Uh... Sandakji. 
well, it's kind of like Sandakzi, but not really. So it was basically like Nakzi, which is like octopus. Um, and when you cut off an octopus's legs, they're still alive. They still move around. They're like blah blah, wiggle wiggle wiggle. They're like doing the little dance, wiggle wiggle wiggle, boom 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 boom. boom. And I was like, all my ties, time for me to eat you. I I grab it, stick it in some hot sauce, and throw it in my mouth. It sticks to your mouth like the little, little clingy sticks to your mouth, to your tongue. And then you gotta fight it. You gotta like chew into it, and then you eat it. And then every time I go through it, I just and then you swallow it. It sticks to your throat too. Sometimes you choke. It's scary, but that's why you gotta chew it properly before you eat it. And you know what? You know what? I, every time I eat it, I always think, why don't I just eat one that's dead? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> but it is very tasty. I mean, yes, it is technically dead. I mean, literally, it is dead. It's just muscle spasms. But like, you know, like why, why fight for your life when you could just enjoy it when it's like stop moving? I don't know. It's for the content, bro. Fuck you, right? <laughs> You're so right, buddy. But I will say, um, it is an experience to try once in your life, and it's very tasty. I mean, it's just octopus, and octopus I, I find very tasty. Where are you eating these things? Korea. <laughs> when I think a live octopus old boy comes to mind, yeah, I remember, like, they give the actual octopus and you just... <laughs> I don't know who I feel bad, who, who I feel worse for, either the actor or the octopus. Probably the octopus. I mean, he's the one that's actually being bitten alive. But uh, yeah, other than that in Mexico, let me think. What else actually happened in Mexico? I did a lot of walking around. Um, dude, I, 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 I also want to say I apologize to everyone who lives in Mexico. I always had like this weird image of Mexico in my head, right? Like I think I think it was built from Netflix, essentially. essentially. When I think of Mexico, I always thought it would be like more sandy, <laughs> more yellow. I thought I thought the yellow filter would just come in as soon as you enter Mexico, um, and I thought things would be more beaten down. But man, I, well, at least Mexico City was at least, but maybe the other places not. I don't know. But Mexico City was so so developed. It was like vibrant. It was so big. It was so like the buildings were huge. They had like a mi listen, they had a mini so. Yeah, there was no yellow filter. Surprisingly. But they had they had a mini so and that that's all you know. Like obviously that doesn't mean like it's like a developed country or not. But the fact that there's a mini so like an Asian shopping mart in freaking Mexico means that you know there, there's there's something going on here that means it's like pretty close to being developed. Is how I see it. The Latino filter, yeah, let me know. Yeah, like I walked in and then I saw like I saw Sanrio dolls. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the Hello Kitty lipstick hole or shit? <laughs> so, it was, it was so much more... Like, it was not how Netflix depicted it. And, and I, I felt bad. And I felt bad for having this weird image in my head. Because it was so cool. So culturally vibrant. The food was great. The city was beautiful. The people were beautiful. Um, I love Latinas, villains. And um, it, was, it was a great experience. Tiny time, thank you so much for the time. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, I would love to go again. I feel like there was a lot of other things I could have done extra. But um, I didn't have the time to. But uh, I had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Thank you so much for the great time, Mexico. It was great. It was great. <clears throat> so colorful, too. I, I, th I think one last thing I was able in Mexico is that the villages or like the, the buildings there. Sorry, not the villages. The city itself. The buildings are so colorful. The buildings are like pink, blue, red. It's just, and then there's like trees everywhere. It's it's like it's almost like, like a a city in a forest, and then the cities are all so pretty and so so colorful. The people are so so vibrant. Um, great place, great place to visit. Ten and then we'll try again. <clears throat> the colors in your IG pics were so vivid. That's because I'm just a great photographer. I'm just saying. I've tried Pozzoli. I don't think so. I don't think so. Next to Mexican, I'm just happy you had fun. 
I'm laughing so much with the stories. I hope you come back soon. If you're okay with it, I would like to post info about the places you were in TW. Of course! Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, Kidiva, for the super. I just, I had a lot of fun and um, it would be great if people could also like enjoy the places I went to because I went to great places and it was really fun. It was really fun. I showed my dad your photos and he said it looks like you took a class. Yeah, a class in just awesomeness. A class in perfection. A class in sexiness. A class in um, uh, yeah, Riz. A, a class in a baby girl, baby girlism. Yeah, ba baby girlism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems you didn't do very well in his classes. You know what? They're just around my phone. Yes. Samsung Fold. I think it's a seven. What, what, what is mine? Fold five. No, it's a five. Fold five. Yeah. I really do want a, a better phone with a better camera. I think I think that's something I want. There, that was so very smooth of you. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funnier if you blinked instead of winking? I got a degree in your heart, baby. I'm an Android user. I am a very petty Android user. You're right. You know it sucks because every time I go go to go among your friend groups, they're like, "Oh my god, I took this beautiful photo. How should you share?" It's like, "Yeah, just airdrop me, bro." I'm like, <laughs> airdrop. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's actually it is actually so painful. You have no idea. It is so, so. Oh, you're an Android user? Then you might have an idea. It is so so painful. Every time, every time, I have heard this so much. It's like, like I literally was talking to a friend about this. It was like, yeah, why? I was like, after my trip, I, I met another friend in a place I live, and I was like, yeah, I went to Mexico, and then you know, and uh, here, let me show you the photos. Oh, you know, I forgot, I I, I moved all my photos to Google Drive. Let me show you. And it's like, why why did you move your photos to Google Drive? What the hell? What, what, what is that? Is that how you like store your stuff? I'm like, no, I just had to do it so I could share it with my friends, you know, so I share my photos with my friends. And he's like, why would you do that? You just gotta. Oh right, and he's like, and I'm like, why? Why would you say it that way? What do you mean? Oh right, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it like that, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some water. Samsung is a good deal for multi. I like Samsung in general just because I think it's better for. I, I just think it's better. Not gonna lie. Look, sure, it does look work, work like AirDrop. But I don't know if it works with uh, Apple users. But yeah, I usually quick share among my devices. The reason I use Android is because all my other devices are Android. Jay, thank you for the one. Thank you, thank you. Because I, I use a. I use a Jenny, thank you so much for the five. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. As a Jenny, I I, I won't read it because you told me not to, but thank you so much for the stream labs as well. Thank you, thank you, Jenny. <clears throat> they meant a lot to me. God, 13 months. I need your treble scream accompanied me. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Jay, thank you so much for the five. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so I, I use a Samsung tablet along with my phone. So it just makes a lot of sense for me because I could airdrop, I could, um, not airdrop, oh my god, oh, dude, oh. I can't believe I just said that. I could quick share amongst my devices. Airdrop, who uses airdrop? Jay, thank you so much for the 10, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What is this, like a, what are you cooking? One, oh, what the hell, what is this? 
What are you doing, Jay? Jay, thank you so much for the 20. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Is, is there a term for like a gift rainbow? What the hell? Oh my god, Jay, what the hell? Ah, but Jay's the kind of person that doesn't want me to more. Mm. <clears throat> Jay. Oh, thank you so much for the warm. Welcome back, baby. Jay, you can go on top anytime. I will be at the bottom. No? Okay. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> More RARs? Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I will say I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, one of the reasons why I wasn't able to stream this week was because my throat hurt a lot. Um, I don't know. I was something about Mexico, but maybe it was because it was so hot and cold at the same time. But I think I had a cold for a long, long time, so my throat what my throat was in so much pain. So my RARs are not the best. I apologize, but I'll try my best. <laughs> RAR, RAR, RAR. Ra 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 Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Original Swans <word. laughs> No, 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 no. But seriously, though, I don't know why. I think I do need to. My, my throat did get better after resting, so I'm gonna see if I could talk a little quieter now. What was that called? It's a fair vermilion original. I think I think I'll have to talk like this for uh, for the rest of the stream. I don't know. It's it's a little. Little iffy. You have no fight behind those eyes. They're just raw. And one day I will do a raw stream. Just raw it all. And... Rawr, rawr, woo, rawr, rawr. Honey lemon water. Honestly, not a bad choice. Not a bad choice. It's the original song. No, it's still in the works. Still in the works. Hmm. <laughs> Saying raw a hundred thousand times. Absolutely. Jay, I'm quite concerned on how you get those money to spend on gifting membership. That's what I'm concerned too. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not complaining. But in general, though, make sure you also don't, 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 don't like. I, I think. I think it's important to note because I have seen a few people do this, and I think I want to address it. Um, it's 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 their money. Don't 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 be dumb, <laughs> right? Don't police people about the use of their money. They're using their money. Um, but of course, having been said, make sure you also you spend responsibly. I I I'm 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 a I'm I'm a I'm a happy streamer when you guys give me money, of course. Um but uh don't ever don't ever overspend on me. <clears throat> I don't I don't think it's because I, I, I know that that's why I extra appreciate it when you guys spend on me. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh you know you know there's something really cool. Something something I also really found was awesome in Mexico. They have four different new Krispy Kreme fra flavors that they don't have in different places. It was so cool. Thank you so much for the one, Melody Uchiha. Thank you, thank you. I was so happy. They had four different. I tried one. I, I wanted another one, but my friends were like, no. I went, no. I tried, um, I think I tried the creme brulee, I think. Was it creme brulee? I think it was. So tasty. They also had like this, like this lemon flavor. I really wanted to try that too. But I, was like, no, man. <sighs> I only tried one. It was so tasty. It was so tasty. Are they good? Yeah, yeah, I know. They're, they're great. There's four of them. I think I took a photo of it too because I was like, uh, but I can't really find it. But uh, basically, yeah, um, creme brulee, there was like this lemon one. Again, there was two others. one was so, so tasty. Very good. Very good stuff. Jelly? I don't know if there's a jelly on one, but it tastes very good. Whew. <clears throat> Man, I, 
guess I haven't talked in a long, long time. Maybe it's because I haven't streamed in so long, but I feel a little sick. <laughs> like, like not sick of you guys, but like, I just feel genuinely actually a little sick. Give me a sec. Let me take a breather. because I was talking without breathing. <laughs> hmm. It's late at night, but I want donuts too. It's always donut time. I do not know what you're talking about. What do you mean? It's always donut time. Breathing is good usually? Yeah. What's your finish? Did it get? I actually didn't get anything. Now, that was my one regret. My friend got a perfume. It, it smelled really good. It was just really pricey. It was a little off my. It was like it was like a two hundred dollar perfume. I was like, nah. <laughs> oh, the pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was walking, and. <laughs> I was walking, it was a good day, everything. It was actually quite, it was after the library, I was walking to the bus station. And uh, I felt something plop on my, on my shoulder. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like I knew it, I, kn I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew it. it. It plopped and it had like the little wet plop, so I knew it. I was like, oh, I know exactly what this is. But please tell me it's not because because there are so many trees in Mexico. I saw a lot of like leaves suddenly plop on me, so I was kind of hoping it would be a leaf. But like this one felt heavy and it felt liquidy, and I'm like, ah shit. Look to the left. So I wiped it off. It, the color. Do you really want to know? <laughs> Rona, thank you so much for the rose. Thank you, thank you. At least it's not on your head. I mean, I suppose, yeah. Was it not white? Oh, you got a raise, Ken Ken. Hey, congrats. I'll read through the stream ups. I I'll probably start reading through everything in about 20 minutes, 10 minutes, so that I could actually get it over with. <laughs> And I don't have to go over time. So I don't have you guys wait for me. Did it stink? Joanna, I did not sniff. <laughs> I I did not I did not take the time to sniff. Um but uh <laughs> Didn't land on any food? Is that is that is that a, is that part of an experience? Is that a, is that a personal experience? For some reason, getting sleepy listening to Vare's voice. I do seem to have that effect on people. What if I do this? <clears throat> Does that wake you up? Zombie kind of sound. <laughs> what was the reason? Because I want you guys to listen to me. I don't like it when you guys sleep. I'll be lonely. You should scream. I would, but my throat hurts. Why you take a rose? Oh. It's for you, baby girl. Oh, God. <laughs> hmm. Inner peace. In, oh, did you guys watch Kung Fu Panda 4? Have you guys watched Kung Fu Panda 4 and how disappointed were you in a way? 
it was a fine movie, but it was it was not what I was hoping for. I I was ex I I think it was fine. It was just like I was excited for a little more. Not gonna lie. Don't spoil us. Well, basically everyone dies. I mean what? <laughs> what? Aquafina has been popping off though. I see Aquafina like basically everywhere nowadays. Aquafina is like everywhere. It's crazy. I don't think I've seen anything past the first movie. Oh, I will say though, the second and third movie is like Pug. I think I think among there's many movies that has like really good trilogies. Like How to Train Your Dragon has a great trilogy. Like every every time, like How to Train Your Dragon, I always expected the second movie to. Be, I always expected the sequel to be bad, but they have yet to fail me. It's great stuff. Um, let me think. Toy Story, great trilogy. Um, hell, even the fourth movie was really good. So honestly, super cool. Uh, and Kung Fu Panda, I think, was an amazing trilogy as well. And um. I mean, if you have to count this one, I guess Shrek. <laughs> I guess, I guess Shrek. <laughs> Shrek, Shrek was, we don't, we don't talk about the fourth one, but the trilogy was not bad. Honestly, man, like for Shrek, I watched Shrek not because of Shrek, but because of the bad guys. I think the bad guys are actually just all so charming. I think the fourth one, unless it was the third one, but I think the fourth one was where they had babies. Wait, am, am, I, am I going crazy? Was the third one the baby one? Oh, the third one was the baby one. My bad. Yeah, we don't talk about the third one. <laughs> <laughs> it gets blurry after strike two. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um Yeah. Strike one and two was fun. I like I, I, I really like animation movies. Um I don't know, it's the child in me. It really is the child in me. Oh yeah, Shrek 4 was to Shrek 4D, you're right. Shrek 4D was that's right. That's right. That's what I was compl. I was. I was. I'm so dumb. I. I thought Shrek Four was the. Yeah. Then that. That was the ride. That was the ride. Uh, but I love animations. I don't know. Do you guys like animations? I. I really like animations. Oh yeah, 4D. I think. I think at some points, yeah, it's you get wet and stuff. Yeah. Animations is great. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I was watching the Oscars, and I'm not gonna lie, like, um, Boy the Heron totally deserved it, but I, I was shocked that Spider-Verse didn't win. I already thought Spider-Verse was gonna win that. Boy the Heron was good though. Boy the Heron was a good movie too though. I'm really excited for Inside Out too. Love I'd love you more? <laughs> what is this, Riz? Thank you so much, Yang. Um, Inside Out 2 looks really cool. Inside Out 2 looks really cool. Spider-Verse was amazing, yes, yes. DreamWorks movies tend to be pretty good. They do tend to be good. There, there are some misses. There are some misses, because I think that was... Um, but you know, most of them are hits. Disney, Pixar, or Illumination? Ah, dude. Honestly, Pixar? Illumination... <sighs> Despicable Me was is always fun to watch, but I never thought Minions were cute. I'm gonna be honest, I never thought Minions were cute. I always thought minions were kind of creepy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm tripping now. Why do we know? Oh, I got the red out. It's not. What? I mean, I don't know. Like it's like they're like yellow jelly beans with like eyes. Minions are funny. Yeah, they could be funny. I don't know, man. I don't know. Bananas. 
Ba na na ba na 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 ba na na ba na. I can't really do it alone. I need you guys to help. All right, you guys, you guys gotta do the different ones, okay? I'll be the ba na na. You gotta be like ba na na, and then someone's gotta be ba na na, okay? And then someone's gotta do like ba na na. All right, all right, we gotta do it together. All right, all right, team, everyone watching on their screens right now. We gotta do it together, okay? Ba na na ba na na na. Banana, banana, na, banana, banana, na, banana, 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 potato, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> my throat, yeah, it's it's gone again. <clears throat> Maybe that's why my throat's gone. It's because of the karaoke. Because I went crazy on that one. <laughs> Fair boss. <laughs> Fair boss! Fair boss! <laughs> ah. There's an underwear or something? I didn't even know that one. <laughs> Nijigayo? Oh, did you guys enjoy Nijigayo? How was Nijigayo? I was so happy to see... um. Ijigayo going trending. I thought that was so, so cool. Thank you so much for the in incredible support on Ijigayo. Safina Senpai and Ma Mari Senpai, Maria Senpai uh, put in a lot of lava effort. I, it's so weird for me to call Maria Senpai, but you know what I mean. Put in so, so much effort into it. It was amazing. My ha? <laughs> okay, I have a story about that. Um, I uploaded one first. I was like, ha! And I, that, that was basically it. I mean, obviously my throat hurts, so that was the best I could do. But I was like, ha! And I was like, okay, that should be fine, right? And I was about to upload it, but then Uki Senpai already uploaded his. So I I I, I watched it. <laughs> and his ha, as you guys know, his ha was very much like <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, oh okay, oh, oh okay, okay, game's on. <laughs> so I deleted mine and then I pr I, I did multiple takes of my ha <laughs> to go on par with his ha and th that's how my ha came to be. I couldn't lose. I couldn't lose. Couldn't lose to uh to Uki. I, I couldn't I couldn't I, if, if Uki Senpai went that crazy then I had to go that crazy too, you know. So I went I went ham with my ha as well. Get to make Nana only proud? Oh well, yeah, I mean made it he made all of us proud. It was so cool that Galen Senpai, Ga Galen Senpai and, and me and Uki Senpai could start it off um, in Nijigayo. I didn't know because we didn't know the set order until like the very end. We just uploaded our um, 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 various takes and uh, we just learned the set order at the end and then it just went, ha <laughs> It was so, so cool. Hey, Mooney, thank you so much for the soup. Welcome back. <clears throat> yeah, welcome back, you guys. You guys, welcome back. I don't know where you guys were. I was missing you guys. Why you guys? Why you guys take so long to finally come say hi to me, huh? Where were you guys? Come on. But yeah, Nijigaya was fun. Nijigaya was fun. Into the New World, I think, sounded so good. I was in. I was in. I was actually in Mexico when this all happened. So I was. I was tuning into. I was using my 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 little data that I had to listen to it. And um, this is my first time actually hearing the full version of Love in Love. Um, I'm sorry, Into the New World with all all four of us. It sounded so good. It sounded so, so, so good. Um, I actually almost cheered up for some reason. It sounded great. This is my first stream. Whoops. Well, welcome, welcome, Ash. <laughs> sounded amazing, yeah. Um, one thing I do say was, I will say though, people didn't like my background take for Gobek. I don't know. I thought it was a, I thought it was a very like deep, you know, thoughtful little um, 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 background. But for Gobek, people were like, well, confession, Delhi Spice confession. People were like, huh? People were laughing at it. And I was like, what? <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was a deep wealth. And listen, I was, I was on, uh, what was it called again? Like the, 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 the copyright free, royalty free background place. I was looking for everywhere, you know, for like a good background for this. BG was distracting. Hey, listen, it was not a fever dream. What are you guys talking about? <sighs> it was great. It was, I, I put in a lot of thought into it, you know. It's a very base choice. Now, whoever says no to it, uh, you guys, you guys, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Okay. It was supposed to be beautiful. 
Because Golbeg is a very beautiful song, you know? It's about, it's about a guy who thinks about their first love, you know? And it's, it's a very sad, heartwarming song, you know? Oh, it's not supposed to be a funny choice! It's <laughs> sad, damn it! <sighs> I hate you guys. You guys, you guys always bully me. I don't, I don't know why. You guys are always so mean to me. <sighs> I sound good though. Thank you, CC. Looks like an old Microsoft Live wallpaper. You also bully us. But BBG, no, that's my way of like, you know, trying to be parasocial with you guys, baby girl. Haha. <laughs> it's actually my parasocial repellent. Just so every time you guys get a little too delulu, I just be like, I hit you with a bit, baby girl. <laughs> but uh, I, 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 we had fun. I had fun singing those songs. Um, that was really good. I, th I thought it was really cool. <laughs> Oh, and I was really happy to sing um, Almost Paradise with Anna. Anna was very nice about it too. And I was like, I don't really know Korean, but you know, I want to try. And I was like, you got it. You sound so good. And it was our first time together singing. And it was really awesome. I, I thought it was so, so cool. Yes, Almost Paradise. Yeah. The Almost Paradise is a really hard song to sing. Oh my God. I thought, I thought it would be fine. Because like... I didn't realize just how high Almost Paradise goes. When I sang that, I think I, I, I'm pretty sure I lost my voice. And I think my my neighbors lost their ears during that time. I was like, oh, I, can't, I can't do it right now. It's like, oh, oh, almost, almost paradise. It was, like, it was like that high. I was like, oh my God, I can't do it. Crazy stuff. But uh, it was my favorite cover. Oh, I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear. <laughs> oh thank you so much for the kind words um i i really did sing it because i wanted to impress you guys that was my that was my main reason of joining dg guile sure it sounded fun but my main reason to join it was because i really wanted to impress you guys um i wanted to be like villains look at look at how awesome i am look at how awesome my singing is i, I really wanted to try hard for it so that, that was that was my main my uh, main main goal my bus song cover was good too. That was actually my favorite song too. One of my favorite songs. So I really hope you guys will enjoy it. It was so good. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully with that, I'll be able to do more Korean, um, K-pop karaoke in the future as well. Absolutely. Kaicho, now I'm noticing your hair looks very fluffy. Can I rough it please? Okay, but you gotta be gentle, though. <clears throat> My favorite K-pop song recently? Huh. Let me see. What have, have I been listening to anything recent? I think I just talked about my K-pop stuff recently on my past stream. But let me see. What have I listened to recently? Um... Well, again, Queen Ka is always a good one. I guess I haven't really been listening to newer ones. I've been listening to, like, Champion by Psy. Champion. 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 Something, something, and you Oh. <laughs> that reminds me of... Oh, my God. That reminds me of, um... There, there was there was a TikTok or something or a YouTube short qu uh, about that. Some guy was singing this song. Some Korean guy was listening to the song and singing it, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then it was like, and then and a black guy was like, <laughs> and starts beating them up. I'm like, shit, you're right. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that song. Tangui? Oh, dude, I love Tangui. Yes. I actually, I really wanted to sing that song for my karaoke, but, um. But, uh. It's. I don't know if I. I don't think I have the rights to it. I don't think I do. 
it's not on it's not on a uh, jazz rack which is uh basically what we use for permissions so i couldn't find it but i love tangri should i give you like a quick acapella version of it it's it's my it's one of i, I forgot i listen to that song so often it's such a good song i'll give you a quick acapella version of it it's like <clears throat> Cuff, 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 cuff. I'm sacrificing my throat for you guys. You guys know that, right? Oh my god, my voice. Wait, give me one second. One second, I'll be back. I need water. It's like, yo, I love the song because the the this the song will go so well with my lore too. Gambapsi bam kirer, kani nunagneya, ne mal som turabo, namuni dong dong tin mul hanjal masimya. Some 밤을 잡는다 거드력 대다가 목숨을 잃었어만 이대로는 달성하여 황천을 건널 수 없어 옳다구나 당신이 나를 도와주시게 헐씨구 좋다 헐씨구 좋다 그대 나와 함께 어깨춤을 덩실 더 덩실 정신을 잃고 쓰러질 때까지 이밤 산시 내발 야 이빨 아래 아 <웃음> 이번 산시 내 이빨 아래 Man, my throat really is bad. <웃음> well, it's a very fun song. It's such a fun song to sing. 나무 아미탄불 It's it's so fun. Like there's so many different like parts to it too. That's all so different. 무구리를 해보자 네 목숨이 곤호 붙어 있을지 무구리를 해보자 미천한 명줄이 언제 거 있었을지 나무 사이에는 흥신님이 여무 바닥에는 수살기야 벽공 너머에는 불사조가 나고 든 얘는 도깨비가 조교하다 휘영창만을 이뤄세 열쇠 수군대는 영산의 호랑이님이 행차 없인다 아시고서 타 Oh man, it's so fun. It's such a it's such a fun song to sing. It is a very hard. I never practiced it, as you could really see. But the lyrics are totally off. But it's such a fun song. Very fun song to sing. Very song. It was very scuff scuff a cappella. Hopefully, I'll be able to practice it properly. And sing it with you guys. It'll be so cool. Yes, I can't help but dancing too. Every time I listen to it on public transport, I'm just like, yippee. <laughs> so much fun. So much fun. But yeah, other than that, people already mentioned it in chat. Pamyong Gang is very fun too. Lona, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for the super. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Pamyang Gang is a very cute song. Pamyang Gang, or do you know also by it's a very similar vibe, but do you know Anyeun's uh um 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 
Blue Noe Kum. Na 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 na. Go my god na na na. Kum soke san mu wa si tun ji tel su isa. Yeah. Na na na. Summer Jan and Moon. Time and Dun and Singan, your hang. I wait. Time and Dun and Singan, your hang is sit like the Ningan. No pun sign at all like I'm a nun and Torok Sek Moon. Thank you guys. Hey, everyone who's new, by the way, uh, make sure to read the chat rules. It's a free emote rule. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But welcome, welcome. All new people, welcome, welcome. But yeah, great songs. Um, I, 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 I wish there were... I, I don't know if there's any rights to it, but maybe I could sing, do like a Anil and karaoke or something. That could be fun. That could be very, very fun. Song for Temptation of My Wife. I might. I might. I, I, I feel like I've heard some drama songs here and there. You're so cool when you sing. Hey. <clears throat> I need to pee. Will you guys burn my house down if I go? If I go pee, are you guys gonna burn my house down? <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> So you guys did burn my house down. <laughs> I guess that's fine. I didn't need a house anyway. But that means you guys gotta take me in into your house, okay? I pee fast? Yeah, because I felt the goddamn house burning down! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my house has a bed. Oh, Barry, is that a... Is that a... Is that an invitation? Nah, -uh. <laughs> you gotta pay rent. Ah, she bites. <laughs> yes, I washed my hand. Oh my god. Oh, guys, guys, I have a question. Speaking of being stupidly parasocial, 
Um, I saw I saw uh, I saw a clip of Anna asking her viewers, and I and, and then asking the siblings this later. So I kind of I thought it was kind of a fun little question. Um, do you guys? Wait, what, what? What did she ask again? It was like it was like. Do you guys have someone you're into or interested in? Does that make sense? Like, do you guys like anyone? Like, and then I think, and then and and I was like, also, by the way, a real person. <laughs> I thought it was super funny. Yeah. Do you like any real person? Like, yes, IRL. <laughs> So yeah, so so yes, you okay, and it's very sweet of you to say it up, you know, like a real. <laughs> I have a boyfriend IRL. Oh damn, huh? Wait, out of curiosity, what, what does your boyfriend think of you watching uh, male VTubers? Uh, just just out of curiosity, because like I, I don't know, I feel like male VTubers might be slightly different. Just like I I can imagine, like let's say I had a girlfriend, right, and uh, I watched. Scarla. I don't know if I'll have the girlfriend for much longer. My boyfriend isn't into VTubers, he pretty much only knows what I've told him. And, ah. Do I have a girlfriend though? Of course. Mm hmm. Yeah. I have the sweetest girlfriends of all time. Uh, she does all the house chores. You know, she, she cooks, um, she, uh, she, 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 she feeds me. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi, girlfriend. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why do you guys doubt when I say I have a girlfriend? What, what is, what is this? Huh? Why? Why is there so? Why is there so little trust in me having a girlfriend? Huh? What the hell? I radiate single man energy. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Look at the mirrors. <laughs> I, I think I, I, I think I think I'm pretty attractive. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> well, wait. So I I well okay. My relationships aside, you stupid little tigers. Um. I, I I see that a bunch of people in chat actually well not many but um but uh but but a few people in chat actually already have dated and someone someone was like what dating for two years I think Ophelia is there like for two years that's crazy so um for people who uh have not found a partner or is not looking um do you guys want to look for one? Married? What the hell? Nobody asked. <laughs> but that's that's cool. But nobody asked. <laughs> not really. Not right now. Not now. One day being committed is kind of scary. Understandable. Understandable. <laughs> Rude. Yeah. Sorry. I've been dating for a little over five years now. Whoa! 
If he's rich, then hell yeah. You know what? If he's rich, I would date him too. And that's right. If he's even if he's a him, if he's rich, I'll date him too. No problem. Not yet ready to be in a relationship, TBH. Just want to find myself first. Oh my god, that is. That, that's deep. You're right, though. Kill your sins. Gacho, I told you are my first love. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you, baby girl. <laughs> um. I think, I think what I will say <clears throat> is, uh, I, I think there is some, what's the word? Truth to dating, like finding yourself before you date. I, I think that's very true. But I will also argue that falling in love with someone can help you find your true self, uh, true self as well, if that makes any sense. My boyfriend and I are both autistic and we met in the same Aspie group. We bonded over Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm. <laughs> you know what? It's all good. It's, it's, whatever way you met, that's not important. You know? It's, <laughs> um, it's as long as you guys can bond over something you guys are both interested in. That, that's that's really that's really all that's that's matter. I think that's really that's really cute. But I gotta ask, like, what what were the what were the flirts like? It's like, man, guy, wow, isn't Sonic so cool? I'm like, yeah, Sonic is awesome. Yeah, you, you want a kiss or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and man used to be a YouTuber. Oh, that's cool too. That's awesome. YouTuber power couple. That's cool. I tried to go for a baby girl world record. Of course, of course. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna go to Guinness and be like, hey guys. So I've said baby girl in the span of about two years on stream about f a thousand times now. Can you, uh, can you give me a world record? And then I'll be there listed in the Guinness world record. Most <laughs> baby girls. <laughs> this. <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> Oh man, there's something to be proud of. If you're proud of it, then that's anything can be something you're proud of. Mm -hmm. We didn't flirt. I just overheard the boys talking about Sonic and inserted myself in a conversation. Oh, look at you! You know what? As a boy myself, in case you guys didn't know, as a boy myself, I can agree that any girl who can nerd out with the same things that the guy likes is is auto automatically like plus 20 points like man if if a girl came up to me and be like you play Yu-Gi-Oh, i play Yu-Gi-Oh too i'd be like girl would you like to can i take you to first base quickly and maybe the second and quickly get a home run because holy shit, i want to marry you holy fuck. you know what i mean it's like i know maple story Woo! you wanna you wanna duel with me oh you speak my love language like poetry. Oh my god. Are you Mozart? Because your music is to my ears. Wait, what? Your words are like music to my ears. I'm getting ready for college, but I'm really nervous about interviewing professors. You have to interview professors for college? You have to interview for college? Oh, did I interview? Oh, I guess I did interview for college. I don't think I interviewed professors for it. It's not a big deal. Like, like, like when it comes to interviewing in general. Well, I think if it's interviewing for jobs is one thing, but interviewing for college is literally just... <clears throat> when it comes to interviews, let me give you some interview 101 advice. Um... Always, first of all, uh, research what they want. But the thing is, it's so difficult for, difficult for colleges to do that because like colleges want so many things, right? So that's why I say when it, it's not a real big deal. Really, a college is about like these kind of interviews. You just got to say what you want, what you're looking for, what kind of person you are. Because if they don't think you're a good fit, then they won't accept you. But honestly, that's probably good for you too because you're probably not a good for... Uh, they're probably not a good fit for you too, you know? Like... 
let's say you really like drawing, but they're like, oh, we actually don't have an art program. It's going to be awkward, but that means you probably don't want to be there anyway. So just really be yourself. Just say, say everything you can. But um, when it comes to interviews in general, though, it's nice to know who the interviewer is beforehand. Because ultimately, no matter how um, unbiased the interviewers are told to be, told to be um, they'll always have biases. And they'll always have biases towards certain sorts of people or sort of, certain sorts of ways you speak. So let's say you know the professor you're talking before. Let's say the professor is a professor of business. Then you'll probably want to look into business a little and be like, oh my God, I love your work. I read your work in, in, the, XT, in, in, uh, in the certain like website. I thought it was really cool. You know, can, do, you, do you have time maybe after the interview to quickly talk about this? Oh no, that's okay. Maybe we could just email about it later as well. Oh, uh, but yeah, I'm sorry. I know it's a stupid tangent. Well, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about, you know, let's uh, myself. Yeah, I love, you know, blah, 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 you know, blah, blah, blah. And I really want to work under really cool people. I actually want to take a business class as well. Like, you know, maybe be taking a business class under you that'll be really cool tee hee oh uh, yeah oh is it already time oh well you know what i really want to you know do all sorts of things before i just want to be someone saying very interested in your you know your, your college i want to join different student organizations i want to be part of the newspaper i want to be part of you know journals and that'll be super cool too i'll make sure to email you later let's talk about that paper later you know because let's maybe have a, co a copy later and it'll be awesome i'll be awesome to see you on campus see you later bye bye Yeah, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Just know what they... You got experience. Bro, I have been for so many interviews. Holy f... <clears throat> um, but yeah, basically just get through it and you'll be fine. If you guys need interview prep, I mean, I got you. Like, It'll be kind of cool. It's like you 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 text you you chat and then I'll I'll be in the interview for you. Let, let's let's do a mock interview. Villains, let's do a mock interview. Let's say I am your you're applying for a new job. Uh, let's say you're applying to be a professional villain. Now give give me let's be like hello, hello little cub. How are you? Um, welcome to uh the Vera Vermilion Company where we treat you the best. Um. Let me quickly talk about this, uh, you know, job position for you. So we, as you probably already know, um, is a company that is looking for a new intern um, because we are short on staff. You know, it's it's always important to uh, have good talents and like you, we we have good stuff. Uh, so in general, we try to you know pump out content. So let's say about twice, three times a week. Um, you know, um, our boss up here is usually a little sick and he's a very weak dude. Uh, so I don't, don't tell him I said that. <laughs> but uh, he's only able to stream about like two or three hours a day. Uh, maybe about two, three times a week. Uh, he's a very busy guy. Um, but that's why we need an intern to, uh, you know, help out with making content. Uh, maybe throughout the week, during the weekdays. So uh, I was wondering, uh, could you tell me about a little bit about yourself? I can cook and make sweets. Oh, how is that gonna help at our company, huh? Huh? Who you think you think this is a kitchen? Get out! Of here. I'm sorry. I'm baby. Hey, baby girl. Okay, okay. <laughs> I can type real fast now. That's not that is not gonna help because this is content. Why do we need test typers? This is not an essay typer. What is that? <laughs> can finish all my donuts. Security. <laughs> we are cute. Yeah, you 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 raise a very. You raise, you raise a very, very good point. You raise a very strong point. I can make stories if you need it. That's actually pretty cool. I have fluff referred to comfort anyone. You know what? You know, our boss does need a lot of uh, comfort. He seems to be a very depressed guy. <laughs> we can send money? Higher! <laughs> um, but uh, jokes aside, basically, don't stress it. I know interviews are very stressful and you get you get very stressed. Um, when you get into it but ultimately it's just a person talking to another person um, I think the best advice I got was get into an interview and kind of act as though it's just like best friends talking you know obviously don't be like don't, don't go and be there like hey dude how's it hanging I don't be like <laughs> 
but kind of like you know jumping in and just kind of be like yeah dude that's i think that's so cool oh no that's an awesome idea like you know i i had this experience you know that you know kind of kind of like act like it was a it's a very natural conversation but yeah charisma can get you far it's true confidence and charisma that's that's two things interviewers really look for Yo, <laughs> bestie, bestie, how you hanging? <laughs> yeah, don't, 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 don't baby girl them. Are you tweet? No, don't. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. All right, dress up well as well. Yeah, dress up. If you come in with a hoodie, people will get like certain thoughts of you. You know. So yeah, just be professional. Um, I don't know how we want to understand that. I think I just read a random uh, chat. Um, but uh. Uh, I think the conclusion I wanted to get was uh, was uh, love me. Uh, no need for boyfriends or girlfriends. Uh, there's only very million. Thank you very much. <clears throat> but Vera, did you see that Vera art? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Also, members, uh, which is probably going to be most of you now after all that gifts. Holy moly. Um, Sarah is same. Holy moly. Kaisha, you're the most jealous man I know. You know other men? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, so I'm sorry. Did I hear that right? Huh? Yeah? The only man you need is me, okay? I hope you understand that. Do I beat the cheating allegations of my tattoo? Honestly, you do. But in no way, by the way, is that me um, condoning um, or like, you know, not condoning, but like um, um, suggesting you guys get tattoos. Because you guys, this, this, this is crazy. <laughs> but uh, yes, I, I, I would suppose, yes, that that would, yes, that would take out the cheating. Yes. <laughs> Encouraging. There's, that's the word. Hmm, I think I'll go ahead and read through the supers now. It's been two hours. Yep, your boy. You like tattoos? No, 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 no. I do. It's just, um, how should I say this? It's like. Uh, tattoos tend to be permanent. I I've heard there's ways to remove it, but I think it's very painful. Um, so if you're gonna get a tattoo of me, for instance, like, just just know a couple things, right? You know, just, just think, think before you get it, right? Um,. It it it's I I won't lie when I when I say that when I see you guys get tattooed to me I'm like that that's I appreciate that but you know like think about it before you do it <laughs> just just think about it before you do it basically basically so when I have a tattoo I mean I didn't tattoo on this myself it kind of just appeared it's kind of funny because um my past is all kind of blurry um. Which, is already, which already sucks. I can't see my future, but I can't even see my past. It's kind of crazy. Um, little lore drop, if I can. But uh, basically, I uh, the last thing... It's, it's like... So I remember when I was like a kid playing around at my parents' house. Um, and, then it's, and then it's like a pretty big part of it just kind of... I don't know. I, I don't remember much of my... Adolescence? Is that what you call it? My, my, I don't know. Next thing I knew it, I was at a XLA kind of doing work. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Maybe the headmaster has something to do with it. I don't know. Pre-teens. There we go. Well, no, I think I was... No, I remember my pre-teens. It was like close to like mid-teens, if that makes sense. Like 15-ish. Like basically 
12, 13 to like 15, 16, it's just all a blur. Yes, my youth is a blur indeed. I don't really know how I ended up at XLA, not gonna lie. <clears throat> but here we are, I guess. My tweens? Is that what you call it? My tweens? <laughs> that was a wee little lad, yeah. That was a little young kid. <laughs> Um, but yeah, lore aside, let's read for the supers and then call it a day. Because Vera Vermillion is honestly a very weak man. He, he doesn't he doesn't have much strength in him. It's, it's, it's a, he's also hungry. Vera Vermillion is a hungry man. I'm getting fury thoughts. Ooh, look at you cooking. You know, I will say I really do enjoy when you guys cook the lore. It's really cool stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So... Etone. Maito sends welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Trunk slaps with him magenta. Oh! Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> thank you so much for slapping me with a magenta. Thank you, thank you. Sweet Toy sends welcome back. We all missed you. Thank you, thank you. Cookison, thank you so much for the five. Thank you, thank you. Rawr. Thank you, thank you. Um... Wait, Mods, did I read through all the supas in the previous streams too? I think I did, right? I think I did. Pretty sure I did. Welcome back, we all missed you. We I missed you too. No, but like I I think it's really nice. Uh because I think yesterday um I saw Kaicho go on go uh um go 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 uh it was funny. It was on trending for a bit and my mods pointed it out. I was like, oh my god, Vera, look, 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 uh, Kaicho's trending. I'm like, why? What did I do? <laughs> what, what, what did I do this time? Did I mess up? What did I say? They're like, no, it's just the villains missing you. And I was like, oh, that's really sweet. So thank you so much for welcoming me back and saying that uh, you guys missed me. If you guys weren't missing me, I wouldn't come back. You know that, right? Like quite literally too. Like if you guys wouldn't miss me, then there's no reason for me to come back. So thank you for always have, making, giving me a place for me to come back. Mm-hmm. Uh, MJ, thank you so much for the magenta. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back, BBG. Let me hit you, but not too hard. Hit you, but not too hard. Hit me, but not too hard. <laughs> hit you, baby, one more time. Slap you with money. Ah! Baby, one more time. <laughs> thank you so much for the magenta. That's a lot of money. Thank you, thank you, MJ. Thank you, thank you. Kimi sends. Welcome back, baby boy. Thank you. Esther sends, Yatta, welcome back. Okay, baby boy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Esther. Ramco sends it, uh, 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 I, I was about to say a, a maka. I don't know what that even means. An Aka super. Thank you so much. Welcome back, she sends. Thank you, thank you, Ranko. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm back. Tadayama. Thank you so much. I am back. Do you need anything, Ranko? I can provide. Not much, but, 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 but I, I could be cozy. <laughs> Budin says, welcome back, very Vermillion, who we also call Kaicho. Hope you had an amazing and relaxing break. I did. Thank you very much. Suki Cute Cat sends, welcome back, Kaicho. Thank you. Thank you. Baby Blue sends, welcome back, baby girl. Oh, wow. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you. Thank you. And Barry sends, welcome back, punches you. Ow! Right here on the cheek. Please, one more time. <laughs> Miss you, baby girl. Thank you so much, Barry. Nyo Nyo sends a magenta. Thank you so much again. That's a lot of money. Welcome back, Kaichu. When you took a break, I checked the VODs and enjoyed, but I can't wait to see you. Thank you for being here, and I'm so happy and comfy to be one of the villains. Also, this is my first super. Thank you so much for the first super. First super being a magenta is actually kind of crazy, so thank you so much. That's, thank you. That's very, that's very, very sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Kaichu's a masochist. I mean, if money's involved... I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, etone. I would too, yeah. Any real sense. Welcome back, Kaicho. Thank you, thank you. Kyo sense. Welcome back. I missed you so, so much. Thank you, Kyoya. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> Trying to breathe in a little again. I just haven't streamed it a long time. I need to get back into the groove. 
everyone breathe together. Let's take this to take this moment to breathe in, do a little bit of yoga. Hungry. I want pizza. I want boba. All right, good stuff. Roy sends a magenta. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back, Kaicho. Thank you, thank you, girl. Thank you, thank you. Tiny Tiny says, welcome back, baby girl. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Adi says, welcome back, Kaicho. I'm glad you had a good trip. Also, congratulations for being free of a Dongguk jail. Man, I was actually scared I was going to be Dongguk for a week. Like, the thing about being Dongguk, it's fine. It's just like, everything I say cannot be taken seriously, if that makes any sense. Rhonda, thank you for the hangover. Thank you. Nom, nom, nom. Like, it's like... I wanted to post my schedule saying I'm going to be streaming on Friday, but like even that would have been taken out of... You know, when there was an earthquake over over, over internationally, I was like, man, I really wanted to like... In TW, I was like... I wanted to say something, but like it, it just would be weird if you like... Very don't be like, be careful, you know, be like, baby girl. I'd be like, what the hell, man? Uh, <laughs> even like the pop is like, dude, the Korean pop is... I was so... K the the K K K K K pop no not K pop uh uh D G K R there you go D G K R poppies were finally out and I was so excited about it I was like but I had to stay in character I'll be like finally you know oh oh Don't look finds this an absolute W you know I wanted to be serious about it because it was a long time coming and then people were already like buying out the entire like stock I was so so cool so I was so happy about that uh, so you know. I was, I was, I wish, I wish I was no longer Dongguk. So much awesome things happened while I was Dongguk. Staying in character is very important, you know? <laughs> Just saying BBG and the earthquakes. Shut up. Listen, it's not a joke. Hopefully everyone was safe. I, I seriously, hopefully everyone was safe. Mm. Um, it was kind of funny though. He's saying that. Baby girl. <laughs> it's, no, my God. Kacho, please stop baby girl. <laughs> um... Arisa sends, welcome back, Kaicho. I'm glad you had a good trip. Also, congratulations for being free. Oh, yes, I just read that. Yes. I had to read it again because it's such a big moment for me. Um, Aichi sends, Kaicho, I missed you. Wait, you're real Kaicho, right? No, to don't look. Please be Kaicho. I miss him a lot. Seriously, I miss you, Kaicho. Hugs. You know, I saw on Twitter a bunch of people being like, all right, don't look was funny, but uh, where, where's our Kaicho? Where's Rare Vermilion? Have you seen Rare Vermilion? <laughs> um, I'm here now. So hopefully, you guys got what you wished for. Uh -huh. Jardis Pi sends, I celebrated my IRL best friend's birthday a couple weeks ago. Also found out there's a Sanrio version of Monopoly. Mon uh, why did I say Monopoly like that? Monopoly. <laughs> Monopoly. Let's play some. Hey guys, you guys want to play some Monopoly? <laughs> <laughs> I want to play some Monopoly. I love Monopoly. Mm. <laughs> um, Monopoly, yes. I did not know that. That would be cool. Sanrio Monopoly, that's awesome. And uh, wish your happy birthday to your best friend. Um, hopefully they ate a lot of cake. Best friends are nice to have. Betty sends welcome back, Kaicho. Thank you, thank you. Oka sends an Aka, get it? <laughs> Oka sends an Aka. That's I'm sorry, I'm very bad at this. I'm a bad streamer. But I try. Thank you so much for the Aka. Mwah! Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Well, thank you. I am back. Um, thank you so much for the warm welcome, Oka. I sense welcome back, Kaicho. Thank you, thank you. Daigi sends a magenta. That's a lot of money. Thank you. Welcome back, Kaicho. Thank you, thank you. Lin sends a test super. My main card got broken, but let's see if it works. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's working properly. Can you test it again, Lin? I. I think it might be the the money bar. Maybe you should send a little more and see if it works. I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you so much. Gives you money and runs. Thank you so much, Lin. Welcome back, Kaicho. Thank you, thank you, Lin. Amber sends aggressively. Wish you, wish you, wish you, wish you. <laughs> Collab with Ver Dongok when? Uh, Ver Dongok is busy doing Ver Dongok stuff. <laughs> uh, but I will be having a collab with uh, Dopio Drop Life next week. <clears throat> I think next weekend. So if that's something you guys are interested in, it should be fun. Uh, Ray was toasted since welcome back, Muhammad, <laughs> Ver Daniel, Vermilion, Limli, Gotan, Gokchua. Huh? What are you saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to run this by my. Uh, I'm going to run this by mods for them to go translate this what does this say is this something i could say what are you guys guys planning to do um we're planning on playing uh so recently on youtube i've seen um infinite craft be pretty fun so we wanted to do like an infinite craft race i think that could be fun you know oh those are single <laughs> single for surnames <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome back, Mohammed Barry, Daniel, Vermillion, Lim Lee, Goltan, Kok Chua, Wei Jue, Abdul, S. Oh, it's Malaysian. Oh, it's a Malaysian name. Your full name in Malaysian. What? <laughs> Lim Lee, Goltan, Kok Chua, Wei Jue, Abdul, S slash O, Raj Wong, Toy Ong. I, I, you know what? Thanks. I think it's <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm I am I am now one of the Singaporean slash Malaysian. Whoopee, yippee! <laughs> Apparently, I have a Malaysian name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, mango sent somewhere in her Philippines. You see, you're seeing other mangoes. <laughs> Trust sends, welcome back, Kaichiao. Good to see you again. Hope you enjoyed your trip. Bienvenido. Thank you, thank you. Muchas gracias. Speaking of Fra, um, and, and this goes out to all of the artists as well. I need to go for my fan art at some points. I'm I'm like five months in. I think I'll do it after my school though, because I am busy and there's so much to do. I think after my school, I'll do like one day of just a marathon of all the fan arts. I think that, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Hopefully the tag doesn't cut off though, but I'm going to do it in Jordan's fan art stream. It's going to be fun. It's gonna be fun. Endurance fan art stream. 12 hour stream? Yeah, pretty much. One endurance. It should, I'm gonna do one endurance, I'm gonna finish it off. It's gonna happen. Um, Yukino sense, welcome back, Mu. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this one is the Singapore Villains. Muhammad, Ver, Daniel, Vermin, Limli, Goltan, Gok, Chua, Wei, Jiab, Doris, S. What is it? What is S slash O? Is it like significant other or something? Raj, Wong, Tai, Ong, Singapore Villains. Aha! Hey, yo! Thank you. When does my school end? Uh, early May. Early May. Uh, that's when my final exam is, which I do need to study for. So it should be fun. Oh, sla S slash O is son of. Son of a Raj Wong Tayong. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Thank you so much for getting me a Singaporean name. That's cool. <laughs> Lin Sense, welcome back. Oh my god, not again. Oh, this one's for the Malaysian villains. That's so funny. It's so funny how the Singapore villains and the Malaysian villains are giving me the same name. Muhammad Ver, Daniel Vermin, Limni, Go Time, Kok Chua, Wei Jie, Abdul, Sol, Raja, One, Wong, Tai, Ong. <laughs> I think on behalf of Malaysian villains. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. The... <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh my god. Himo sense, give Tiger Bomb for your butt, honestly. Yes, thank you. Rona sense, not in Nade, thank you, thank you. I said it perfectly, thank you. Good, good. So, my sense, sending money for Kaiju Form to eat cake to get cake. Honestly, I am starving for some cake today. Maybe I will get some. Hmm. Key Devil sends, as a Mexican, I'm just happy you had fun. Oh, yes, indeed. Well, Mexico is great fun. You guys should check it out if you can. It's so much fun. Swan sends, roses, thank you, thank you. Rona sends, beer boss, thank you, thank you. Moody sends a magenta. Thank you so much for the magenta. That's a lot of money. Late, but came in time to witness Kaicho's Tascaro singing. Uh, welcome back, Kaicho, and also on your performance. Uh, thank you, thank you for, thank you, thank you, Moody, for um, the Nichigayo appreciation. Thank you, thank you. Ranko sends 10. Thank you, thank you. Rawr. Thank you, thank you. I like your new profile picture, by the way. Very beautiful. Very, very pretty. As we all know. Sweet Tori sends, but can we talk about how amazing your voice is? Next time you deny your vocals, I'm going to refer back to Nijigaya. Blah. Blah. I, I, I could do better. I, I need to keep practicing. But thank you so much. That's very nice of you. Um, Rona sends a magenta. Thank you. Thank you for the magenta. I love it. Kaicho is the best. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, thank you so much for the magenta. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet Tori sends, you already live in some people's walls. That's true. You look to your wall to your right. And you'll see nothing. But that's because I'm actually on your left. <laughs> I thought I was on your right, but that's true. I'm on your left. <laughs> I'm hungry. That's when I get a little dear Lulu. I'm sorry. Um, miss, miss, miss the Aaron sense. Welcome back, Supa. Thank you, thank you. Melody Uchiha sense. Kaicho, are you go trying to go for a baby girl world rug? Yes, I am. Sunny sense. Uh, Supa as well. Thank you so much for making the day sunny. Kaya sense. I had a bit of a bad flu last week, but I'm so glad I got to see you today. It cheered me up. I hope. You will always be happy too, my energy. Thank you so much, Koya. Oh man, bad flu. That's, it's, take care of yourself. Um, take flu shots if you can, and honestly, bad flu, it's, it's crazy. I, I, I hate it when you're, when. <clears throat> I hate it when you're sick, so don't be sick. If you're sick, then I have to be concerned about you, and that's annoying, okay? So, I don't like annoying things, don't be sick. Jay sends an Aka. Thank you so much. Mwah. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, Kaicho. I'm so glad you're always here. Mwah, mwah, bon appetit. Oh my god. Did you? Oh my god. Wait. Is this 
This what? Oh my god! Did he just did he just blow up me? Jay? All this time you'll always say no kisses? Eh? Is it my birthday? What the hell? Oh my god, take all my parasocialism. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. <laughs> it's funny because it's funny because like when I was very dong I was so I was I was so like eager to change back to your profile picture. Man. Thank you, Jay. Holy shit. It's my birthday. Ha! Huh. Villains, get I bet you guys never got a mom off from Jay. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. That's right. I'm awesome. I'm I'm winning. I'm I'm winning. I am winning. I did though. That's okay. Just because there's a goalkeeper doesn't mean the ball doesn't go in. Thank you so much, Jay. <clears throat> IE sends, just want to say welcome back, Kaijo. Rawr! Have a nice day, night, Kaijo and Villians. Thank you, thank you. Lin sends, uh, Kaicho, I would like to send more, but for... <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> you, you know you don't have to send more, right? Uh, I have you already. What do you mean? Ophelia, aren't you literally dating someone? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to send more, but for real, my main card not working. Welcome back again. Of course, no worries. Hopefully, you get your main card working again. That's a, that must be a little scary. You actually, one of my one of my closest friends, um, he, he came up to me he like, "There, it's like, what's up? It's like, I finally got my, uh, I, I finally got a credit card." It's like, "Oh, that's cool." And be like, "Yeah, can you teach me how to use a credit card?" I'm like, "Wow, it's good stuff. Credit cards are cool, but it's also really scary, especially when the cards get like stop working. You kind of like overthink of it. Hopefully, you could get it working soon." Mm-hmm, mm hmm Trang says, now try Vietnamese name for you by Songo. Vu... Vu Van Viet. Vu Van Viet? Vu Van Viet? Vu Van Viet. Is that right? My Wait, is that... Is that a good name? Or are you guys making fun of me? I think... I think... I think... I think I was bamboozled. <laughs> Wait a second... Did you just bamboozle me? You just bamboozle me. Hmm. Hmm. I guess it's V's. Triple V's. It's a nice name. Hmm. It's a real person's name. Oh, I don't. I don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> source trust uncle Dale. That's 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 the that's the the most shakiest source I've ever heard in my life. Well, thank you so much for the super. Barry says, "Why my Kamioshi is so handsome? Welcome back again." Take, look at me. Take, 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 take different angles. Look at this. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Look, look, you, you want a close up? You want a close up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at, look, look, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm, mm, mm. yeah. Look at this. On the, uh, my left side, pretty handsome. My right side, yeah, that's still handsomeness. My upside, don't take a photo of my upside. It's, it's not, it's not my best angle. It's, it's not my best angle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Dokta sends. Welcome back and have a good day. You have a good day too, Dokta. Thank you, thank you. Yukino sends. I'm so glad you read the name out. I'm rolling over. Uh, what did you read? <laughs> what did I just read? I swear to God. I swear to God. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the stream labs now, because I saw a bunch. Um, people also sent beforehand as well. So I'll read through the ones that you guys don't want me to. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll read through the ones that the I'll read through the ones you guys don't want me to read because yeah, like f you guys. Like what? You thought anonymous was like gonna happen? <laughs> no, no, no. I was, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip over the ones you guys didn't want me to read, but I'll read through the ones that you guys do want me to read. Tana, thank you so much for the ten. Thank you, thank you. Rawr.
You thought anonymous ananam ananam. You thought ananam was was real here. Ananam. <laughs> Train name in Spanish. I know what that means. Hermoso presidente. Ah, muchas gracias. Sí. Yo, yo estoy muy hermoso. Muchas gracias. Yo soy muy hermoso because I am permanently hermoso. Muchas gracias. You know, I, so quick, quick, quick little tangent about Spanish. So soy means I am, but it's more like a permanent thing, right? It's like a characteristic. Like I am a man. Yo soy un, un hombre, right? Estoy kind of, is more like a, like a, like a, I think the way my professor taught it was kind of like a like a like a temporary thing. It was kind of like yo estoy um muy calor, we are like I'm really hot, yo estoy calor, or like yo estoy or yo tengo hambre is a little different, but like you know, yo estoy is like a little temporary. So I was like, Professor, you know how like let's say I say I'm handsome, right? And I think I'm really handsome. Yo soy hombre, right? Or yo soy yo soy um not hombre, sorry. Um yo soy hermoso. But if I go old, I'll probably not be too handsome anymore. So is that technically permanent? Uh, would I be like yo soy guapo? Or is that I still guapo? Because technically, I'm not. I won't per permanently be handsome. And he, he just looked at me and just like shook his head. I'm like, okay. You're always permanently handsome? Yes. You know why? Because I am an anime character. Since you read your name in Viet, uh, can you do a Viet Riz? Uh, I guess, yeah. I mean, you send it for a, or an orange soup, so I guess I have to. Anh có một siêu năng lực, đó là siêu thích em. Anh có một siêu năng lực, đó là siêu thích em. Anh có một siêu năng lực, đó là siêu thích em. Anh có một siêu năng lực, đó là siêu thích em. Was that okay? Hopefully it's fine. Apparently it means I have a superpower, and that is super liking you. <laughs> it's true though. That is my superpower. That is my that is my counter command. You thought it was Anima Veritas? No, it was super liking you. Ba ba boom. Right. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and read for supers. I got a bunch actually. Um it's pretty cool. I think I read through the streamlabs for the karaoke, but it might not have, so I'm gonna just read it through again. Um one tooth sense, thank you for the karaoke. Looking forward to Nijigail. Hopefully Nijigail was as um was everything you hoped for. Cookie some sense at uh, 50. So thank you so much for the magenta and on uh, on Streamlabs. Thank you for the fun K-pop karaoke Kaicho. You were handsomely amazing. Thank you. Kamazami uh, na Quinn sense thank you so much for the the wonderful karaoke. You introduced me to a lot of songs and I fell in love with them. I especially love your messages in between each one and they make the experience so special. You improve so much. I'm just amazed. Love you, sir. Thank you so so much for your kind words. Imamo sends um do you need sojo? I remember actually I remember reading this one. Do you need sojo anything? I felt like you uh real heartbroken while singing <laughs> Love Now. And Barry, I remember, yeah, now I remember because Barry sent me sent sent 500, which is just ridiculous. It's a lot of money. So thank you so much. Um Yeah, that's a lot of money. Thank you, thank you. I did have a dream that someone sent like like was that Scarlet or like someone like someone 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 sent Scar No no it wasn't a dream. I think it was a YouTube thing. Yeah, Scarlet Scarlet was like sent like a thousands of dollars. I was like, what the hell? Like people are like Oh all good good for you, Scarlet. But like just always make sure to spend responsibly. Points at you. Lynn sends, you'll do just fine. Thank you, thank you, Lynn. Verzaiki sends, you'll do just fine no matter what your future holds. Even if it means e whoa, okay. No matter what your future holds, even if it may not be a flower path, then let's plant flowers together and make your future bloom. We will always be with you. Now, that's that's crazy. You know, honestly, yeah, it's not a, like, listen, if the path you're walking on is not flowers, then just... If, if the path you're walking on is not filled with flowers, then plant the flowers yourselves. There's this one hero. He was, he was my childhood hero. It's this guy called Johnny Appleseed. 
It's this dude who uh, walked around the plains of the great, great country of America, apparently. Um, and he, he walked across it and he just planted seeds. He just planted apple seeds. Just, he just, he just, that's, that's, that's his entire thing. Just planted apple seeds. And people are like, what the hell are you doing? Why, what are you doing this for? He's like, no, nah, just, I just like, I just like apples, he said. And then after years, I think it was long after he died, of course, but just apple trees everywhere. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful stuff. Um, kind of a similar story, but not, not the same, but it's, it's kind of a similar story. I think, I think it's kind of funny. Um, or not funny, but it's kind of, kind of interesting. Uh, let me see if I could, um, uh, let me see if I can find the exact name. So in Mexico, um, and I, and I took photos of this, well, photos of this as well, but there are so, so many purple trees, like these very pretty purple, uh, flower trees. Um, and apparently it's called, let me see if I can find the name. So they're not cherry blossoms. They look like it, but uh, yeah, what is it called? What is it called? I don't have the name of it. Come on, just give me the name. Well, anyway, apparently their their uh, their legal name <laughs> is Jacarna Jacaranda Mimosifolia. Jacarandas. There you go, Jacarandas. Um, and uh, it's 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 originally from Japan, apparently, and the story is. Well, I actually didn't read through it, but my understanding of the story is basically this dude from Japan just thought the flower was pretty, brought it to Mexico, planted it, and now it's everywhere. <laughs> now it's everywhere in Mexico, and it's it's, it's so pretty. It's beautiful. Jacarandas, yeah. Like, literally just some dude in, from Japan was like, hey, you, you want some flowers? Mexico was like, yeah, dude. It's just... <laughs> just <laughs> that, that's how I imagine it. I'm pretty sure that's not... the. I don't quote me on it. But the way I, that's how I imagined the story kind of went. Like some dude from Japan was like, hey, 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 Mexico, you want, you want some flowers, boy? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Yeah, we like flowers. <laughs> it just grows purple. <laughs> that's how I imagined the story went, you know? That's how I imagined it went. Um, but both Johnny Appleseed and this Japanese dude, right? I, I feel like it goes to show. Um, if you believe your world is not filled with flowers, then just plant the flowers yourselves. And, you know, I mean this more metaphorically. I mean, I don't, I'm not telling you to go out and plant flowers. Well, but you could. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, but, you know, it's all about what you make of your life, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, anyway, very sweet words. Uh, thank you so much for Saiki. One tip sends, hope you were able to get some sleep. The last few months, your typing streams have helped me go to bed. I also like to let my mind wander and think of wild things, like if I was a celebrity or a superhero. Enjoy your vacation and have fun with friends. I actually do that a lot. In my head, um, I have I have a whole like fantasy world going on in my head, like with different heroes, um, different superpowers, different enemies, a different like whole lore story. That's what I sometimes think about when I'm sleeping. Like if I'm having trouble sleeping, I just kind of brain rots about like how this story should like unfold i want to i want to headcanon i guess yeah i mean one day i kind of want to like write it out and then and maybe write a story about it i think it'll be really cool of course you know if that doesn't work then i just count villains one villain two villain three villain get away from my cookies villain five villain <laughs> <laughs> um also Speaking of typing streams, I actually got a new keyboard. So I don't know how it sounds yet. I haven't unwrapped it yet. I want to unwrap it of you guys. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe next study stream, especially with exams coming up soon. Uh, I'm excited to show it to you guys. Hey, hey. Tyne sends 10. Thank you so much, Tyne. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny sends, uh, sends a lot of, um, a lot of, a lot of very sweet, uh, sweet, uh, sweet stream lives. And I'm gonna, be careful not to read Basic, basically um basically jenny's like you know like uh i watched the mechanical keyboard asmr um and uh the the cozy typer stream yesterday um and heard you sing villain it was very nice i want to hear your complete cover have a nice day and she's like you know did you have a good day it's, it's a very nice thing so thank you so much jenny thank you thank you um because i remember you didn't want me to 
read your messages. So I just gave a little sneak peek of how sweet you are. Thank you, thank you. Maito sense. Um, Streamlabs for my beloved Vera. Do I? What is it? Give me a second. Give me one second. So, thank you so much for the super. No, I'm sorry, the streamlabs. Thank you so much for the Aka. Hi, Vera. You're looking beautiful today. I mean, you always look beautiful, of course. <laughs> um, wow, is it hot in here? Or maybe it's just you. <laughs> You, unless... Oh, my tell. Wow, he's so cute. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you so much for the Streamlabs Aka. Mwah. Vera Vermilion Jump Scare. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Bring mother back? Nah, -uh, nah, -uh, nah, -uh. it's me. Eh, eh, uh, uh, nah, 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 Bring the ara ara. Nah, 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 nah. This is all you're gonna get. Nah, you want ara ara? Ara ara. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's, that's all you're getting. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the akamaito. Jenny also mentioned something about the earthquake. I actually reached out to my friend about it, um, who also lives in the area, to see if he's okay. Let me actually double check if he actually responded to me. Did the man respond to me? I have a friend there. He didn't respond to me. Hopefully, hopefully that's okay. Uh oh, now I'm kind of scared. Uh oh. But thank you so much, Jenny. When I was lonely and sad, you comforted us with your warm greetings, which moved and encouraged me. Aww. <laughs> One two sends, welcome back. Thank you so much for the streaming us. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Quinn Ramen sends $45. Welcome back, Kaijo. Hope your trip went well. Uh, did you think of us when you took that cat picture in Mexico? I actually did. Oh, oh my god, you reminded me of something. Uh, but yeah, here's also a late bail for getting stuck in Dongguk jail. <laughs> Thank you, lots of love, sir. Thank you so much, Quinn. There's one more story I wanted to tell you about Mexico. So I was walking on the street. It's walking. Walking on the street, and then I saw a cat. This is not the cat that I, uh, I took a photo of, but it's different cats. Um, and it was it was like you know like kind of like dark with like stripes. And it was very cute, very cute cat. Um, the thing is, the cat kind of looked lost. It kind of looked looked at me, and then the cat kind of stood up, stared at me, and I was like, oh, hi. And then the cat sat back down. I was like, okay, that's very cute. I walked, walking back to our hotel. Then I saw a missing poster. 
literally across the block, I saw a missing poster saying, if you found, if you find this cat, please call this number. And then I looked at the photo of the cats and I was like, huh? <laughs> Wait, is this, an, isn't this? Because it looks, it looked exactly, like, like, not even kidding, it looked exactly the same. The stripes, even, like, even it's, like, little, like, dots on its eye look completely the same. So I was like, okay, okay, it's happening. I have never thought this would actually happen in my life, but it's going to happen. So, so obviously, it's, it's in Mexico. So I was a little scary to my Spanish, because my Spanish is very un poco, right? It's, it's very, it's very, I don't really have good Spanish. But, but I, I, I wanted them to, I wanted to help them with the cat. I, I wanted to do, you know, like, try, try my best to connect if this, if this was their cat then you know it would be nice to for them to actually see them again so i called the number and i was like all right, all right let me just think about it hola um um i found uh yo buscar bu 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 uh um 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 need a no no that's chinese um i'm need a uh, uh to to gato and a camino the street uh blah 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 and I, was, I was i was gonna do my best and i was like practicing in my head i was like i picked it up and be like they picked up and I was like, oh, 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 hola, um, hello, hola. And they're like, hello. <laughs> and the most fluent English I've ever heard in my life. Hello? <laughs> yes, hello, hi. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, uh. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, well, this works out perfect. I was like, hey, um, so... Did you? Did, I saw your um, you know, missing poster, and I think I found your cats um over on 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 this street, and they're like, oh, oh, well, thank you so much for calling. Um, well, um, we luckily for us, we did already find our cats. I'm like, oh, thank God, because that's a good thing, you know, that's good. And I was like, okay, so that that might have been just like a street cat or something. I'm glad to hear. I was very glad to hear that. Um, and then you know, we saw. So I was like, you know, good job. I'm I'm glad to hear that you found your cat. And they're like, thank you so much for calling. Uh, yada yada. It was very nice. Um. And then after I hung up, I was thinking, but how do they know that that's the cat they have is their cat? And what if the cat I saw was actually their cat? <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I'm, 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 I'm sure it's fine. The thing is, there was no caller, but but I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure they had a way to find out. You know, I didn't ask them. Of course, I asked them. I was like, you know, like this cat actually looks very similar, and they're like, oh, you know, were you in this kind of area? Because there's actually there's a cat that looks really similar to our cat. So I was like, okay, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. So I walked away. Um, what did I do? I mean, there was not much else I could really do. What could I do? I'd be like, I'm, are you sure? Are you sure that's not your cat? You should come down here, you know? Um, uh, let's just hope that it was all, it all worked out. Can you not recognize the difference between your villains? I can. Do you guys know that you all actually have very different, um, the way I tell you, you guys apart is actually the, the spacing between the stripes on your forehead. Hmm. There's a, there, you guys, some of them are thicker, some of them are thinner, some of them are a little more apart. Yeah, that's how I tell you guys apart, believe it or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, some of you guys are completely more buff than the others, but you know, that, that, that's, 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 that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, Verzaiki, thank you so much for the Akka. Thank you, thank you. Mwah, thank you, thank you. Welcome back, Kaicho. Hope you brought back souvenirs for us. Man, I wish I did. I really, I should have brought like snacks at least for like some chocolate. Um, the thing is, Mexico, or at least the place, like, so, so they have a convenience store called OXO. Um, that's basically their 7-Eleven. And, like, their snacks, I don't know, there wasn't really any, like, Mexican snacks. Like, I, I went in and I saw Hershey's, and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so, it was, it was a little, it was a little, I, I didn't really find anything I really wanted. So, it was, it was a shame. But, um, but yeah, it was all cute. Um, I tried one of the ice creams, they were tasty. But, yeah, um... Anything interesting stories? Yes. Hopefully my stories were interesting enough. I told like five stories. It was I had so much fun in Mexico. In Mexico. Well, thank you so much for Zaki for Diaka over stream last week. Thank you. 
Sun Goh Sense, welcome back, my cat Miyoshi. I'm glad to hear you had a nice break. Thank you for singing my favorite song, Kobek. Uh, your performance and Nijigaya was all per are perfect. La all perfect. We enjoy them very much. You're so good at singing. Please sing more. Your favorite song is Kobek. That's awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad it aligned that way. That's great. It's a good song. It is a really good song. <clears throat> I'm glad you enjoyed Sun Goh. Kenken says, miss you so much. I got a raise on my job that I can support you even more. Yippee! Congrats on your raise. Spend it on yourself. Uh, treat yourself to good stuff. But, you know, if you have extra, um, I won't say no. <laughs> you, 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 you know me. You guys know me by now. Cookism says, welcome back, Kaicho. It was nice um, seeing all in a happy mood and looking handsome as always. Hey, thank you for calling me handsome. Thank you, thank you. That's very sweet. <laughs> All right, that's all the Streamlabs. Let me quickly review the supas, and then I'll call it a day because I want some food. I am hungry. Um, Leah sends, welcome back, Kachi. Love you so much. Thank you, thank you, Leo. Uh, Maito sends, my heart is racing, Tatsukaru. And Sweet Tori sends, damn, Vera, you single. I'll be the best wife to you. You know, I will say Vera is hot. So, uh, but luckily um, for me, she's quite literally me. So, you know, guys, if I had a pair of boobs, it'd be like, hey, <laughs> free stress ball. <laughs> That's what you looked at first. They looked at me first. <laughs> Um, it's 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 like that one. I don't know if you guys saw that like that Conan strip, strip, strip. Is it strip? No, clip, clip. There you go. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um, of like Conan with um uh I don't really know her name, but a female actor, and then. And then, and then Conan was apparently looking at, because the actor was wearing like a, a kind of like a low cut dress. And then I guess Conan was kind of like her, his eyes kind of looked down there because it was, it was quite out there. And she was like, Conan, eyes up here. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> that's kind of unfair though, you know? <laughs> I mean, look, you really expected me to not look? Huh? <laughs> You, you really expected me to not look? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that's kind of unfair, okay? <laughs> hey, you, you look too. You look too, okay? You look too. <laughs> With that booba aside, let's call it a day, shall we? <laughs> Oh man, what a way to end. What a way to end. As we all know, it's very important to respectfully look. Okay? It's always about the respect. Booba jump scare. <laughs> what a note to end on. Um, I won't be streaming tomorrow. Well, I guess I technically will be. Basically, the next time you will be see me will be on the Mario Kart stream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do have a lot of work to do this week and the next. So I'll be on the Mario Kart stream. And then I'll be having a Korean collab, I think, on Monday. And I'll probably uh, let you guys know again about next week's schedule. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mario Kart POV. So on that, I'm actually not 100% sure how this works. Either we could stream our POV or our POVs will be on the main um, main competition. So I'll get back to you on that. If I can show my POV, I'll probably show my POV, but I'm not 100% sure how it works. But yeah, anyway. Uh, so yeah, good luck. Uh, thank you so much for the good luck. Uh, go red team, because obviously, I mean... If I was blue team, I would probably have sued the company. <laughs> When's the Mario Kart? Uh, it's a, it's 11 p.m. EST tomorrow. Uh, I don't know how that works in your guys' times. Uh, it will be 12 p.m. GST Sunday, if that makes sense. Yes. Gamba Bear, thank you, thank you. I will make you proud, baby girl. <laughs> but... <laughs> All jokes and all booba jump scares aside, um, thank you so, so much for the warm, warm welcome. Uh, it really makes me happy um, that you guys waited for me and that you guys missed me. I think that's really important for me and in, in, in so many reasons. 
if you guys didn't miss me and you guys didn't wait for me then there's really no reason for me to come back so thank you so much for the kind kind words and the, the warm warm welcome i'll be back very very soon uh just you wait <clears throat> and it's been a while since i said this so i'm very excited to say again but uh well, first of all hopefully while i was gone everything was well everything treated you well and if not that's okay too it's all about step by step You'll get there eventually, and always trust yourself, because you'll do just fine, okay? Have a good day. Have a good night. Ah, Midori, thank you so much for the Zupa. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you soon. My.